can see you there. How are you? Uh, welcome to Tuesday. Uh, it's kind of the first day of the week if you're here in the UK, because of course we had a bank holiday yesterday. Uh, so it feels like uh, Monday 2.0, which would be a bad thing. However, it's really a Tuesday. So although it's Monday 2.0, it's softer side of life day, uh, which we absolutely love. Now, normally uh, I'd be here uh, with Sarah on a uh, Tuesday morning, but I've upgraded. Shh, don't tell her. <laughs> because uh, I've got our sewing expert herself uh, in the building with me, Leanne's here. How are you, Leanne? Oh, I'm so excited, Joe. I'm really well. I'm very relaxed after the bank holiday weekend. Thank you very much. Had a glorious home-baked cream tea in the garden yesterday when it was gorgeous weather. Thinking about all of the fabulous products that we're going to have on this softer side of life. And this is my first softer side of life that I've been able to do. And I am beyond excited because we're going to be doing all sorts, Joe. We're going to be having a look at making gorgeous little baby bibs that are all waterproof. Oh, I could do with one of those. Soft and gorgeous. You could do with one of those. Um, <laughs> and we're going to have a look at our John's favourite, this fabulous cork fabric, and having a look at our glasses cases. We're going to be making some coasters and a mug reg, darling. Uh, we're going to be making those and we're going to be making a gorgeous applique cushion as well so I've got all sorts planned but bear with Joe because my favorite softer side of life tool in the history of craft tools is going to be demonstrated this Soft to side of life show and you're going to be blown away with how amazing this is oh so much to come all of that squeezed it shoehorned pushed into the next two hours uh, here on Crafters TV. It's going to be loads of fun. Uh, now, someone that joins us uh, normally would be here on a Tuesday morning with us, uh, if, you know, before all of this uh, craziness uh, started taking place, would be the lovely John Scott. And he will be uh, back with us again soon here on a Tuesday morning. But since he's not able to be with us in the studio, what he's been doing is uh, joining us via the medium of video uh, and still sharing with us his uh, more sunrise special. Uh, so actually, I think he said there's a little video. Should we see what today's is? Morning, morning now. Good morning, Leanne. How lovely to see you. Now, I must just say something, right? I do these um, links to Sarah's show every week. Done it for about 10 weeks now. Never said hello to Joe. So a very, very big hello to Joe today. And now, Joe, I hear you do impressions of me. So when I'm back in the office, I expect to see the whole gamut of these uh, impressions just for you at home. When, uh, when we're in the headquarters, Joe's desk just behind me there. So I can, uh, I'll get him to do all of them for me. Anyway, today's Sunrise Special is fantastic. Oh, it is absolutely brilliant. Now, if you bought these normally, they'd be £44.97, right? Today, half price, £22.48. What are they? Well, they're these. Oh, look, they're beautiful cotton-backed cork piece of fabric. If you love bag making or anything like that, little uh, wash bag making, oh, these are brilliant. Now, let me show you what they look like. This is Forest. It's 50 centimetres by 65 centimetres. That one's called Forest. This one is beautiful. This one is called Oxford. And then this one really should be my favourite because I love chocolate, but they're all gorgeous, aren't they? Look, you get all three of these. You get all, now they're creased, obviously, you can press them. Right, okay, look. One, two, three. Can you see how big they are? Look, let me hold it back like that, look. 50 centimetres by 65 centimetres. So normally, they would cost you 44 pounds, just check 97 pence, right? 22 pounds and 48 pence. What a brilliant buy. Now, they have been on my Facebook page since last night and they have been flying out. So if you want these, you need to check out straight away. I've been, I'm surprised they haven't already gone already because they are absolutely popular. When I first showed them, everybody wanted them. Aren't they beautiful? You get all three. And look, if you want to give one as a gift, then by all means, give one as a gift. You think, oh, I'd never use the chocolate one or I'd never use the forest one. Well, give us a gift because you get all three of those. I <gasps> know. Oh, now, how do you buy it? You can look at the graphics on screen at the moment or you can go to my Facebook page, personal or business, John Scott's Own World, and the link is there. It'll take you straight through to get them. But please, please, please make sure that you do order it and check out straight away because I think they're going to sell out. Anyway, I'll leave you to it, Leanne. You're doing a marvellous job. And Joe, I'll see you very, very soon. As Sarah said last week, we are already talking about when the shows are starting again. And I'll be back up there in the studio with everyone. Anyway, I must go. Take care. Bye, the Sunrise Special. And I'll see you same time next week.
Ah, oh, the lovely John there. We're all missing him here at Crafters Companion. Can't wait to have him back in the studio uh, with us very, very soon, which will be fabulous. Right, now, we're having uh, a very, very busy uh, show. The Quilt As You Go uh, collection is what we're going to look at first. Now, these are amazing because what you've got here are three different styles. Now, obviously, the lovely Leanne uh, will run us through these, but the fabric itself is actually got it's sort of got the pattern within it already. So you don't need to copy the pattern over from somewhere else. The pattern is on the fabric itself. They're really, really busy. Three complete kits here, 65% off, 10% has already got. So you've got uh, the mug rug. I don't think, uh, a mug cozy, sorry. Uh, that's the mug cozy. You've got, you, I tell you what, your mugs are going to be well taken care of because you've not even got a mug cozy. You're going to have a very cozy mug and you've got a mug rug that you can, uh, you, you know, pop it onto when it's very cosy. And then you've got coasters too. Uh, so it's fantastic. Three great projects. Break it down cost per project, five pounds a project, which is amazing. 65% uh, off there. Now, uh, some crochet kits on the show. You'll know how much me and Leanne both love our crochet. Now these are the hooked crochet kits that we've got here. It's an amazing uh, quality kit. You've got great yarns uh, in here. You've also got the instructions in there as well and everything that you need to create something fabulous. Few different, let me run you through some of the different options. Check out uh, Danny the Duckling uh, just here. How adorable is that? That's what you're going to be making. They make up a really good size. Look at the hedgehog. Oh, just adorable. Uh, that one there. That one there is uh, Kyra the kitten. It's a very exotic name for a kitten, Kyra, isn't it? Uh, but you can go for that one if you want to. Now, I think this might be my favourite. This is Louis the lamb. Uh, he's just beautiful. Um, and then also, uh, we've got Leroy the lion, uh, which is amazing. Uh, there, as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, if you want to go for any of those, £4.99 uh, gets you them. As I said earlier, uh, you get everything that you need in there. So you get the yarn, you're going to get the hook, and you're going to get uh, all the instructions as well. You'll see those demonstrated a little bit later. Uh, they are half price as well, uh, which is amazing. Right, now, I was going to uh, do loads of more other stuff, but Leanne is so desperate uh, to share something with us. I'll just show you a picture of it first. Now, there's a couple of bits, and Leanne was like, we need to demonstrate this, got to demonstrate this, let's demonstrate them. Never seen Leanne so excited about something. This is the Fredder's Folding Ruler Set. So it's the A1 uh, cutting mat with the tri-fold function uh, and six by 24 ruler, um, which folds into four squares. So you can see there, there's the two rulers. Um, and then what you've got, so I don't believe, hang on, just double check, I don't believe the A1 cutting mat is within that bundle. We'll just check, no, so I think the description is uh, slightly incorrect there. Uh, so if you do want the A1 folding cutting mat, that is a different item. So that's for the two rulers. Then this one here uh, is for the cutting mat itself, $24.99 for that self-healing cutting mat. It's massive uh, and it protects your work surface as well. Don't forget as well the rotary cutter. Now this is like a hero tool, this one. Uh, really fantastic. Uh, it comes with spare blades as well, £24.99. Uh, of 39.95 if you're in the US you get free PMP on that one in the UK right I'm going to hand you over to Leanne I'm going to dive into the comments and then we'll come back and have a look through the rest of what we've got coming up today on the show uh, Joe I think I found my doppelganger in the crochet kits I think <laughs> my lockdown hair is like Leo the lion I mean he was I would look like that when I got out of bed this morning for sure me and Leo look we're like twins me and Leo the lion in the after a few jeans yeah, after a few jeans, when I get up on the morning, mad lockdown hair. It takes five tons of product to try and tame the beast. Anyway, let's have a chat about these fabulous things that I've got here. And we're going to be having a look at the folding rulers. We've got the folding mat. But my recommendation to you, if you are a novice soft crafter, if you are an experienced soft crafter, if you're a die in the hard, 50 years experienced soft crafter, you need this tool in your life. Oh, and Leanne, going to be showing you at, yes? it's going to be one of those shows, I'm What's afraid. I, 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 I hate interrupting oh, you, rude. but I need to let you know, in the first few moments of the show, 10% of the Sunrise Special has already sold out and gone. Any chance you think we might be able to bump this forward in the demo order a little bit? Oh. oh. <laughs> I know juggler. it was going to be near the end. I'm going to go back to these. I'll, I'll leave it with you. <laughs> Sack that juggler. Um, yes, I think I can bump them forward. How about we do it next, Joe? After we've done all the rulers and mats, 
how about we just get that cork out and Perfect. start making something let's do that okay so we've got our folding rulers to start now just before i get onto the folding rulers i want to talk to you about the mat because we're going to go in the order that you would use to so i'm just up my lovely lockdown roots there thank you now the folding mat this a1 mat is fabulous it's what i have on my desk at home because it takes up an amazing amount of space you've got a full a1 space available to work on the hands wafting is to indicate exactly how big it is <laughs> the brilliant thing about this is if you need to put it away it falls up and it falls into three so you've actually just got a really convenient piece that can stack up against a wall can lie on the floor under your desk go under the bed go under the desk go under a chair doesn't really matter um, but doesn't take a lot of room so you haven't got that massive thing to try and find a home for it brilliant and then when you put it down lies nice and flat and my recommendation always is get a bigger mat than you think you need because having that space when you're laying out your fabric and you're cutting your projects just makes life so much easier because you don't have to worry about angling it all around on a little a4 piece so get yourself a nice big good mat to cover your desk first things first then everybody needs a couple of really good rulers now i've got a few rulers before threaders did these amazing folding ones and basically my rulers are the full sizes they're the full big piece i'm trying to find a home for these to store them well it's a flipping nightmare joe really because they take quite a bit of space you can see that is a really good big long ruler trying to find somewhere to store those is not easy but if you've got a nice little folding ruler fantastic most importantly when you're traveling and going to all of your little craft groups and crops this is perfect for being able to fold up pop in a little craft bag and take with you but have the full space to use so that's why i love them folding jaw now this triangular one here i've got so much i want to show you i just want to show you here on this little piece of fabric i've got this that's folding lovely fabric you've is, got there so this is our liberty fabric darling darling this isn't just any fabric no darling this is liberty fabric from paris Why to milan to london to newton aycliffe that was meant to be like that posh food advert and i went all sean connery i was a bit <laughs> like bond i don't know why anyway with this fabulous folding ruler you can do tiny little half triangles and quarter triangles like this so this is your two inch a uh, one inch in fact actually and then you can go all the way up to your much bigger squares and every size in between so that is why that particular ruler is so um versatile so that's your half square triangle but look you can also do your quarter square triangles with this ruler as well up into really big i would say this is about 15 by 15 fabulous big quilted blocks so that's what that ruler is fantastic for okay now this one is the one that i use all the time and i use it all the time because i'm banging it on the table just to make sure that everybody understands just before i show you look on our website downloadable instructions on all of the different sizes and how to put them together to use with your half fold triangle square ruler there all right so you can go along to i'll tell you www.crafterscompanion.uk page folding ruler there we are so that's where you'll find all of those now let's get some of this fabulous liberty fabric and start uh, having a little trim and look at how we're going to use these fabulous rulers now when i'm cutting my fabric and getting nice square angles i never use the lines on the mat if you're a new soft crafter and you're going to be new to quilting and you want to get accuracy in your work don't lose the lines on your mat to get your squares because with warping in time your mat will not always be 100 percent accurate your ruler will always be accurate so i've started off with my little piece of liberty fabric here and i've just folded it over so i've just got it on a nice fold and then what i do what i do 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 lots of do's in that sentence is i just find a line on my mat just to get it roughly straight but do you know what if it isn't straight and it's on an angle it doesn't matter it's going to use the lines on the ruler so let me explain to you what we're going to do here first things first square off your fabric and that means waste a little bit and i know that's really quite a scary thing but you need a nice straight edge before you start cutting the rest of your squares and you don't know you well certainly i can never remember what i did with a piece of fabric last and i don't know if it's square so to square it off see all i'm doing is just lining up this bottom line here with my little crosses on and i'm lining that up nicely perpendicular parallel to the bottom of my fabric piece and I've got a little piece overlapping here which is going to allow me to straighten the edge of my fabric and start to cut some nice five inch perfect squares 
Now, when you're holding your ruler down, notice what I'm doing with my pinky here. Can you see? Pinky is not on the ruler. And there's a reason for that. This is really important. If you try to hold, if you're not getting perfect squares when you're using your rulers at home and you're using your hand flat on your ruler, there's still the possibility for you when you're moving and applying pressure to do that. And it might be why you're not getting a nice straight line. If you just take to the side of your ruler and put your pinky on your fabric, it keeps your ruler nice and still and you won't get that wobble so you don't get a, a wonky line. So that's my first top tip to you. And then we've got our rotary trimmer here. Look at that, warm knife through butter. Took my little slither off the end really accurately. So I've got a nice square starting point for my squares. So now all I do is I turn that round because I'm right-handed, so I'm cutting on my right-hand side. And then I'm using the marks on my ruler. So I'm looking along here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, and this is my sixth inch. It's a six inch, six inch wide ruler. I'm going to cut myself some five inch squares because I'm going to be making myself um, a charm pack. Now, charm packs are five inch pre-cut squares. I say don't do that. Just get yourself some beautiful fabric and cut your own with your ruler and rotary trimmer. What I've done here is line up my vertical line with the edge of my fabric. And remember, I've just trimmed that so I know it's beautifully straight now. And I'm just along the fold of my fabric following that line as well because the fold is nice and straight too. So pinky again on the mat. Pinky's never on the ruler, always holding off there to keep it nice and still. Rotary trimmer comes in and then we cut up there with our rotary trimmer. And I've got myself now a nice five inch starting perfect strip. Now I would start to cut myself lovely five inch squares. So what I do again is I trim it so I get myself a nice flush starting edge. So I always do that and I'm using my lines on the ruler all the time to get that nice and straight. And what I just want you to notice here is so you can see how precise this is. Look here, perfectly along that cross hairline. Look at this, perfectly along that cross hairline. I know I have got a perfect five inch strip here to start my accurate squares for patchworking or whatever project it is if it's not patchworking it's just strips that you're going to make for curtain ties or if you're just going to be making some hair bubbles or a nice little strip on a skirt whatever it is it's accurate and if they're not accurate then leanne i guess you're going to end up with well it's just going to be impossible well, to sew you're going to end up with a wonky a wonky what's it whatever you're, you're going, making you're going to have a wonky whatever you're making and yeah. it's not going to be pretty <laughs> so um straighten your edge again so you always waste a little bit just to get yourself a nice little straight edge to start with and then I turn that round because I work um, from the right hand side because that is, uh, I'm right handed. And then I just line this up and I can start production styly, lining it up to the five inch line on my ruler. And then I'm just using the line so you can see perfectly straight, perfectly straight, perfectly straight. I can see exactly where that is on my ruler. Take my rotor trimmer, pinky always off, that's my top tip to you. That's my first set of five inch. And then I just keep bringing that along, doing that lining up. Could not be more simple. Um, and because I started by straightening that fabric off and starting to cut it, it works perfectly. Beautiful. Okay, so you see how easy that is, Jo. Now, um, what I want to do as well, just before I get away from this, is show you some of the fabulous stuff that this rotary trimmer can cut through because at the minute I'm just doing some regular trimming um, of five inch squares. You see I'm taking my time to line it up and then I'm using my rotary trimmer and I'm getting beautiful five inch little Liberty squares there to do my patchworking. Now I would do the same with this other Liberty fabric book we've got here and I'll do some of those while you're updating people Joan you'll be able to see and then I'll do it with my planes as well and these are just our Rose and Hubble from the website. So to make your Liberty go a little bit further what I would then do is start putting these back to back and then I've got lovely five inch squares which I would stitch together in alternate, alternate, alternating squares which gives you then the top of a lovely quilt very quickly and easily. Okay, so there, that's how you accurately do your five inches. Now, what else can we do with this rotary trimmer jaw? <gasps> is this the one that you can do? use it? Is this the one that you can use left-handed or right-handed, or am I making that up? Nope, exactly right, and I'll show you how. So there's a number of features on this which make it very safe, very usable, and very versatile. 
First things first, it's got a lock button. So I'm pushing this now and my blade is not engaging. The blade isn't coming up to cut because it's locked and it's safe. So I'm not going to accidentally bang this on my hand or my fingers and cut myself. The blade is put away. When I press that lock in, that's when I can engage that blade by pushing in the handle. So the blade is only ever out when I want to cut with it. It's never just lying out there, so it's not going to cause injury. And then press the button, it's locked again when you don't want to. This blade is on the right hand side because I'm a right handed crafter. However, by just taking this off, popping your blade off and taking it off this side, you can then move this blade. Let me just do this carefully. We don't want it to end badly, do we? Onto the left hand side, screw that in place and if you're a lefty you've now got a left-handed rotary trimmer so it's left and right-handed which is truly fantastic and very very unique when it comes to rotary trimmers and the blade is double-sided so you don't get any loss in performance at all now the factory that made this for us let me just tell you joe this rotary trimmer is proprietary to threaders um, and crafters companion because our manufacturer moulded and made this for us and the people who make it for us are metal and steel specialists which means this blade is so well made and so precise you are going to be blown away by what it is that you're able to do and cut with this and I'm going to show you a little bit of that now. I've just done some very basic trimming there it was beautifully accurate as you've seen on the ruler you don't get any little skips nips any little donkey's back legs or anything like that um, and I've got a piece can of you cut quick. a flies a flies eyelash you can cut a flies eyelash I'll oh, show you Joe and a badger's nostril you can cut a you can cut a badger's nostril a deer's ear whatever and a, you want a warthog a warthog a warthog's <laughs> mustache I'm for a warthog a warthog <laughs> something completely different you don't Do you want, want to know see about the that flies eyelash before I show you the big wedges Joe uh, yeah please absolutely don't forget you can get your pictures into us as well of anything you're making studio at craftscompanion.co.uk uh, the lovely Pam says she's nearly finished uh, crocheting decks for the dog, so I'd love to see a picture of that, please, Pam. Pop them in. Uh, details are on the bottom of the screen there. Okay, so very quickly, I've got my ruler up the side. Here's my rotary trimming. See, I'm engaging to cut, starting, and I'm going through four layers of fabric here, Joe. So going up the side to trim that off, and I've got a tiny little slither, an accurate slither fly's eyelash. So for... Um, Neatening your fabric, you can take the tiniest amounts off really accurately. This is four layers. I'm just going to show you that. One, two, and it's doubled up. Three, four. Okay, so we've got four layers there. You've seen it went through that like a warm knife through butter. I'm going to half that. So I'm now going through eight layers with my rotary trimmer here, Joe. Eight layers. And imagine doing your patchworking for all of you patchworkers, being able to do eight accurate layers in one pass. It's incredible. Got my rotary trimmer. I've got my eight layers straight up amazing and you see it's accurate and it's beautiful and it's straight look at that it's gorgeous i'm not going to stop there joe i'm going to fold this over again i've now got 16 layers let's just have a look at what that looks like 16 layers of fabric in one big sausage roll sure this is a, some sort of world record we would think so. I hope so. And wouldn't it be wonderful if we've got the Guinness, Guinness Book of Records with our rotary trimmer? I mean, it would be amazing. So here we go. 16 wow. layers of fabric all in one pass because that rotary trimmer is off the chart fantastic. If you're mass making your bias binding, that is amazing for that. Okay. Fabulous. It's not just that it can cut. Uh, loads of you still commenting away. I'll come to the comments in just a second. Um, so we'll go through. So that was cotton then. Loads of layers of cotton, which is really which is great. But cotton. other stuff as well. Would like the cork on the show. Would you be able to go through that? Let you know, by the way, that that Sunrise Special, 20% of that has gone. Uh, so yeah, there's only slithers. There's only going to be slithers of the stock left. But a fly's eyelash left by the end of the show. Right. I've got real leather here. And I've got, a, I've got upholstery leather. So really thick stuff not just the four stuff the you can do the sniff test i'll throw it over to you joe it smells <laughs> like smells like real leather sounds ominous um and you can see here look at that i mean i didn't even have to try it's just unbelievable and if i double this over and just cut um against the ruler there through two layers as well so that's real leather thick leather it does that no it would do up to four to six layers of that but just for speed here i've got one, two, three layers. Let's double it over. Six layers of felt. 
and I might want to be doing some strips of that. Maybe I'm doing a proggy mat or something like that. A, you know, a proggy rug. A what? Um, a proggy mat. I've never heard of it. Have you never heard of a proggy mat? No. A oh my mat. word, Joe! You have. Is it a northeast thing? I think it is a northeast thing. Right. Um, so we've got our lovely felt there. This started off like that, by the way, just so you know, it was on the other side. Um, so really good to go through your felt. Are you just doing well. this by eye? By eye, by eye. <laughs> I know Sue Smith. I'm surprised she hasn't been in touch to say, can you stop impersonating us um, on the shows? Now, here's our four leather. So you see there, I've just taken it straight off the board and using my little pinky look straight through and beautiful straight edges for all of your back making as well so that's your four leather i mean the possibilities joe truly endless this is our cork here's the Ooh. cork fabric here this is you know i said 20 percent of the stock was gone yeah 25 percent oh. of the stock just gone in that quick amount of time it is going really fast that cork. Are you gonna? Are you, do you fancy doing a demonstration on Should that? Should I do that us? now, Joe? Yeah, absolutely. Much, so I mean, I've shown you there how fabulous that rotary trimmer. You need the rotary trimmer in your uh, Let me just recap on the deal for the rotary cutters. I'll let you get ready for okay. your. Is it a glasses case you're going to do it's for? A glasses us? case. Glasses, darling. darling. Uh, so uh, just to recap on the deal uh, for the folding rulers. So you get both of the folding rulers. Now, bearing in mind uh, the folding rulers uh, should be uh, twenty four ninety nine each. You're getting both of them for twenty nine ninety nine. You get free UK postage and packaging on this as well. You're saving forty percent on that. Now we've also got the cutting mats for you. Two different sizes on the cutting mat. Depends which one you want. So you can get the A one uh, cutting mat, which is this one just here, twenty four ninety nine. If you want to go for that one, half price. Amazing saving there. Or what you can do is you can go for this one just here, which is the A two cutting mat. £14.99 or $14.99. And then the rotary cutter, amazing quality that rotary cutter is. Uh, $24.99, $39.95 gets you that. And we're going to chuck in there some spare blades for you as well. Let's just quickly go back to and recap uh, the Sunrise Special that John shared with us this morning. It is that beautiful cork fabric that we've got available for you on the show. Now you're going to get it in three different colours. So you're going to get the um, forest uh, green, which is this one here. You're then going to get the dark chocolate. And then finally, you've got the Oxford blue there. Um, a quarter of the stock is on. Does it just me or does Oxford blue sound like a cheese? Yes, I think there is, I think there is a one. <laughs> is an Oxford, is there an yes. Oxford blue? It does sound like a cheese to me. Just to give you an idea of the kind of size you're getting for this, wonderful for gra grasses, cases. What is wrong with me today? What is going to be happening by the time we get to... Do you know why I'm just so discombobulated? Because we were here on a Sunday for Second Chance Sunday, which we never normally do. We don't, we're not normally here with you on a Sunday. Then, to make matters even, even worse, on Monday when we came in thinking it was the start of a regular week, it was a bank holiday Monday. So now for most people, today is the first day of the week. But I think today, so this is a regular Tuesday, which is like a bank holiday working Monday, but it's not a Tuesday. I think it's Wednesday. I can't, I just, yeah. I'm very confused, so you'll have to forgive me today. Uh, just to give you an idea of the size of this as well. Uh, now you could give this a bit of an iron and press it if you wanted to. It's got a cotton back on there as well, which is really nice. So a nice natural fiber uh, on the back too. 22.48, 32.99, should be 44.97 uh, in the UK to get that. Really great, loads of stuff that you can do with it and it's really hardy and durable, which is why I think people love it. Now, uh, there's a great deal on loads of our Liberty fabric over on the website. Definitely pop over there and check out all the different styles that we've got. Of course, Liberty is that iconic um, that iconic fabric uh, that you've got there. Uh, the pricing on it is uh, a lot of it's kind of seven pounds nineteen uh, for a half meter, or ten dollars uh, seventy nine. There's loads you can see here. Just a, a f uh, just a fraction of the different um, designs you've got there. There's about twenty five different designs available right now on the website. Don't forget as well with all our fabrics. Some of it has already sold out, in fact. But with all our fabrics, it's cut by hand by the meter. So though they're half meter pieces, if you ordered four pieces we will send you one two meter piece which is fantastic so uh, you can definitely um, order that uh, right now over on the website whilst we've got a great discount on that um, right I'm gonna hand you back to Leanne before I do don't forget um, someone uh, please send in all of your um, pictures we'd love you to share them with us uh, we always love it when you get involved with us on a Tuesday uh, Carol saying she would have used the cro the strip rolls to uh, create a crochet dot because 
have <laughs> let me try this again <laughs> i'm gonna go home in a minute if i can't get my teeth back in straight uh, carol says i would use those strips you have cut to crochet a dog bed great idea um michelle says i want to make some outdoor cushions if i put fabric coat on my cotton will it endure the weather leanne it will wonderful but if you put plenty on four layers you need to put on well when we when we do that demonstration i'll explain that to you but actually i am currently making patchwork cushions with fabric coat for my patio so that if there's a shower or if it rains they won't get ruined but it's still nice and soft so Some, it's perfect for that someone got some really nice new furniture i don't know if you can tell who that someone uh, was right very very busy on that fabric uh, the, on that um, cork fabric don't forget i know oh, leanne was going to do this demonstration a little bit later but we managed to convince us to do it a bit early because i think it is going to go so i'm going to hand you back over to leanne Right, this cork fabric is absolutely divine. I mean, really, really divine. And I'm not sure if, I just want you to have a look at that there. I'm moving it in. Look at the metallic flecks you've got in there. They really are subtle and beautiful. It's gorgeous. And this Oxford blue is my favourite colour. Now, the other good thing about this is it has this really good quality almost fleece backing which is so soft and it's really malleable and lovely you're going to be able to make some gorgeous projects with this it is incredibly of the trend and at the moment but incredibly stylish as well look how lovely that is now just before you start cutting it i need to cut my strip to make my glasses case i just want to show you how to iron it because you can iron it you just need to be careful with it um, i've got questions see... coming in already leanne for this right. anastasia over on youtube wants to know uh, if the cork fabric is thick enough to make earrings from oh well yeah they'd be soft so they wouldn't be hard and because you've got that backing so if they're kind of like the little droplet earrings you can die cut it for sure it won't fray so you can do all of your die cutting with that way and if it's just to do like the little droplet ones yes of course because it's nice and malleable. Fabulous. 100%. Now, see what I've got here is I've just got a scrap piece. I've got my iron and I've got my little ironing pad here. And then I've got a scrap piece of 100% cotton fabric, which I am just going over. And then I like to keep it still. And it's best to do this with your cork. Always protect it when you're ironing it. But look, that crease that I had in the centre, completely gone now. I've just got a lovely, full, smooth, soft piece of that cork fabric really easy to do and I would do that before you cut your pieces that you need because that will keep your pieces nice and accurate now from my piece of cork what I've done is cut out a 20 by four and a half inch strip and I've just put that in reverse so you can see it there it's actually the same but I'm putting it so you can see the strip I've cut so actually from that those pieces that you get in those rolls you're going to be able to make loads of projects because it goes an awful long way and it's a really nice width so there's my strip my strip is 20 by four and a half so I'll just move that out of the way and then what I'm going to do with my strip is this preparation here so this was my strip that I started with and then you can see I've started to do some work on it. So what I've started to do is just fold in by half an inch on the left, right and bottom and then press that in place. Now, just before I start doing that, what I kind of want to work out is where my fold over piece is going to be for my glasses case and I want to snip into that. Uh, because then, was also asking, yeah. Leanne, will this be strong enough for handbags, do you think, this uh, cork fabric? 100%. Fantastic. Absolutely. Cannot recommend it enough for that. It's exactly what I'll be doing with mine because I've already purchased it ahead of the show. Um, I'm going to be making bags and I'm going to be making tote bags. Mm. So it really will. And then I'm going to line them, but you've got that lovely soft lining in there. If you don't, if you don't want to line them, you can just have raw seams inside. Will be beautiful. Right, now then. So what I'm going to do is work out kind of where I want that to be. And basically, a pair of glasses are around six inches in length. So we're coming up six and up six. That's about where it would be. You know, it's by eye, Joe. You don't have to be too <laughs> accurate, as long as your specs will fit in there. Uh, and then, maybe you need two different sizes of these, like normal size glasses case, and then like hangover glasses case, where yes. it'd be like even bigger. Do you know yes. what I mean? And, oh, yes. Like the big ones that yes. cover like the, half the forehead and like all the, the bags. Like goggle type yeah, ones. Yeah, but like yeah. really big Fashion ones. ones. My, my sunglasses are like that, actually. I should probably <laughs> get them out and show you them. Um, but actually, well, no, this might not be wide enough for my sunglasses. I'd probably need to make it a little bit wider. You're right, because I've got the big ones mm. when you've got a round face big glasses are better are they is that yeah, what it because is it, because it makes you if you've got little sunglasses it makes you look like you've got a moon head which is why <laughs> i go 
with with big glasses because it detracts ones. from the size of me yeah, face. I need to get some new glasses. I don't <gasps> I don't know what to go anyway, for. Anyway, when I need to snip in here half an inch, this is where your crafter's companion scissors with the ruler on becomes absolutely necessary for you if you haven't got them get them because i'm just lining up to half an inch there i can see where i need to go because it snips to the end snip i've now got the perfect snip in the right place for my um for my folding over and then i can line this up again to do the same thing on this side so lining it up it's finding out where my snip needs to be you use a ruler at home but you see i'm just going up to my half an inch snip it's in the right place so that's what you do with that and then all you do is fold it over. Now you can do a good finger press to start. You see, I'm just pushing it down as we go along there and finger pressing. So I'm kind of getting it in the memory of where it needs to be. And then I bring in my little um, pressing mat. You've got, take it to your ironing board at home if you've got an ironing board next to your sewing station. Is that the A1 folding mat you've got underneath that yes. pressing board over oh, there? I 10 love that. 10% of that has gone already. Has it? Yes. Honestly, I just keep it on my desk and you see I'm moving in my pressing mat on top of it. I do all of my work on top of it. It's literally there all the time when I'm working because you never have to worry um, about moving it in and out. The lovely Sharon Callis uh, yeah. has dropped us a message as well. She says that she's going to be using a lot of that cork fabric in a paper crafting, let alone uh, her soft crafts. Mm. Next time you see or speak to Sharon, yeah. um, Leanne, ask her about the time she tried to get back to the days in in Peterborough using the sat-nav because uh, it's, a, it's a great... I mean, Sharon's stories are the best, but uh, that's... Uh, I mean, it's an iconic one. Like about two and a half hours it took her to get about six miles. It was, it's, no. a, it's a really good one. That is hilarious. <laughs> uh, lovely to, uh, to have you watching, Sharon. Yes, absolutely it is. So you see, what I'm doing to press over my half an inch here is I'm just covering it over with my spare piece of cotton. And I just have a piece of cotton, which actually does not resemble a piece of cotton at home anymore at all because um, it's just full of singe marks off the iron but it's what I use for doing this all the time so it doesn't matter because it's an old piece it's a scrap piece and I'd rather singe that than ruin my beautiful stuff underneath so you see I've pressed that and what that's given me is that beautiful crisp pressed line and you'll repeat that on this side and on the bottom okay so that's showing you how to do that pretty easily and you're going to repeat it on the opposite side and you're going to repeat it on the bottom now then what i do is um and you can do this by eye or aye you can aye. by eye or you can print yourself a little shape <laughs> it's fast becoming one of our cats it's phrases, becoming isn't it? it isn't it by eye who is it we've stolen it um i love that uh, i think that she was actually the lady was from yorkshire wasn't she she was but i don't know where she's from now she sounds like she's moved to like kidderminster or somewhere <laughs> now it's completely oh, changed <laughs> She's sort of like the West Midlands bordering Wales somewhere at the moment. Sometimes she goes up a bit further, sort of Cheshire way. You can never know. You never know where she's going to be That's today. So funny. <laughs> oh, dear. Now, I just want to show you how I get a nice even curve. Because if I was doing this by eye um, and going round, there's no way I would get that even in one pass like that. It would be like this here and like that there. I just wouldn't be able to do it. So what I do is the following jaw. I put that in half like that work out how far down i need to be so here's my little snips that's where i've folded on. i'm just going to bring that in so you can see it a bit better there we go where i've done my little fold there so that's where i'm coming down to i can see that there i then mark the halfway point on my fabric okay so i've got the halfway point and then what i would do is from the halfway point by eye because i can do it quite easily um, once going up and it'll be nice it'll be a nice smooth mm. curve which I've got there there we go if I try to get that identical coming back down here to there not a cat and hell's chance not job. on your Nelly not on your Nelly so what I do is I fold that over in half and make sure that they're lined up there so you see my two little snips are perfectly aligned you can see those there keep that in half and then with my scissors, or you could do it with your rotary trimmer on your mat if you want to, I go around there, down to that little snipped area. Fabulous. And then that, that comes away, just quick that out there and Craig get it. There Loads of questions coming in early on about this cork fabric. I think it's really sparking everyone's interest, you know. Is it? Um, Lynn says, firstly, I remember Sue Smith. 
Uh, she remembers us watching <laughs> Sue by I Sue. Uh, I have a, we need to. I feel like we're going to need to get Sue on the show, on either show. like via video link or in the <laughs> studio really somehow. Uh, Ramona says, um, "What a lovely name!" Uh, says, "I have a question: Is the cork fabric washable?" Um, I do you know right. So here's the thing. So I wouldn't I think say it's definitely not machine washable. I wouldn't imagine, is so it? So strictly speaking, no, <coughs> wipeable. Right. Similar to our four leather. However, I have put our four leather in my washing machine and I have washed it out by hand in a washing up bowl. I haven't tried it with the cork, but I will do that for you tonight. Okay. And then we'll comment on this post and let you know. However, Fabulous. I think because of that, I think wipeable. It is a cork at the end of the day and cork's a natural substance. It's from a tree bark, isn't it? <coughs> and this is a natural cork with, with that felt backing. Cotton. I think mm. wipeable only. Don't put it in the machine. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, there you go. I think uh, so. I mean, just I think wiping it down is going to be absolutely yeah, fine, isn't I it? I think so. Um, now, did you see there? Because I folded that in half and just traced one curved jaw, I've now got a perfectly symmetrical piece for my glasses case to fold over. So just try, just do the one half with it in ha with it folded in half, and then the other side matches, and you're not going to chop five inches away every time you try to even it up because that's what I did the first time. I did that, wasn't right. Snipped a bit, snipped a bit, snipped a bit. Didn't have a glasses case, had a pouch because I snipped the whole bit away trying to make it even. Does that make sense to everybody? Absolutely. Okay, so if we fast forward to this little piece I've got here now, I've done all of my preparation. And we've got this here. Uh, loads cool. of people still commenting away. Loads of pictures coming in uh, as well, Leanne. Keep mm -hmm. sending them to us. We'll uh, have a look at some of them. Studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. Um, Michelle's asking, what size needle would I need to sew through the cork bundle? Uh, as I literally just jumped into sewing because I want to make masks. I bought a Gemini Pro, having never sewn before. So I have a lot of learning to do. Could you just repeat that, Joe? I was looking for something. Uh... Were you ignoring me? Joe, I was paying absolutely zero attention. Were you attention looking for something? I've lost me little. I've lost me little strap, Joe. <laughs> right. Okay. Let me come back to me. I'll just remind you of these uh, four fabrics now. Uh, just. Re <laughs> I love that. Absolutely oblivious to the question. Uh, so you've got three different fabrics here for you. So you've got uh, the forest. Uh, you've also got the dark chocolate, and you've got. The um the last one there, which is the Oxford blue. How are we doing with the stock on these? They are half price, so you're looking at sixty uh, over sixty. You know, these are half price, so it'd be forty four ninety seven uh, if you wanted to get them uh, normally individually. However, today they are John Sunrise special. Sunrise special. Uh, so over a quarter. Uh, of the stock has now sold out and gone on those uh, so you'll need to be uh, quick for them uh, they're very very busy uh, I need to just give you an update as well on Leroy Leroy the lamb in our hooked kits is uh, very very busy he is uh, he's what are, how do they move lambs what do they do they don't gallop skip. do they they skip Skip. He's uh, skipped and hopped. I don't know. That was my lamb impression there. Skipped and hopped uh, into the. I went out riding my bike on Saturday, uh, and there was just fields of lovely little lammies. I just stopped on my bike, and they were like, they were really inquisitive. But then, like the really angry one came along with a really deep, <laughs> like moved them all on. <laughs> oh, I was having a lovely time up until that point. Uh, right, I'm going to come back to that question uh, for. Um, it is from uh, Michelle, who says, "What size needles?" Would I need to sew through the cork bundle as I literally jumped into sewing because I wanted to make masks. So I bought Gemini Pro after never sewing. So I have a lot of learning to do. Right. Do you mean hand sewing needles? Or I think she means uh, sewing machine, machine yeah. needles. I would just go with your universal needle. That's what I've got in there. Perfect. Um, I also regularly use a stretch needle for a lot of sewing because they've really got quite a nice point on them or a jean needle. However... Just if you're only starting out, I've got a regular universal needle in here. That's all you'll need. Should I is accusing uh, you of having a... And that time. Should I is accusing you of having a, se a senior moment there. Would, <laughs> she's right. I cannot <laughs> deny it. I can't deny it. Not for a second. Now, I just want to show you how I'm going to make my little strap, Joe. Um, and actually, I u make the little strap for the, um, the bit to fit it at the pocket by chopping a bit off the bottom. But actually, what I like to do is just iron it first. So I just want to show, and I want to show you why. Um, so if I just press the bottom of this at a really awkward angle towards myself, I am being careful, guys. Don't do this at home. Iron responsibly in your own homes. Um, I'll show you why I've done this, because 
It just makes life easier. I'm all for saving time and effort as we go along. So you see, before I've turned in the bottom, I've turned in my two sides here, okay? Now what I'm going to do is take my ruler with this folded over and my rotary trimmer, which I've put, here it is here, lovely, just to get my little piece that I'm going to chop off to make my flap. And then I'm going to do that along there. Now, the reason I did that after I'd folded in the two edges, before I fold up this piece to stitch it in place, is because now, and if you've tried before, you'll know, folding these little gadgets in can be really flipping tricky. They're already now pressed in place. So all you've got to do is fold this over and stitch it to get your little piece that's going to uh, keep your flap in place. I've already done that. I found it. It was on the floor. Wonderful. Here it is. Is that what you're looking for? We've found it, but I just wanted to explain to you how I'd got it. Right, so this is our little piece where we've done exactly that. We've just trimmed it off the bottom, ends are in, stitch along. You've got a nice piece for your flap to fold into. That's this piece here. You just to let everyone there. know as well, okay. Leanne, if they were considering doing this project mm -hmm. and they're thinking, oh, I'm never going to remember this, you absolutely do not have to because everything we do here on Crafters TV lives over on the website. So place your order now for your fabric bundle. Get it sent out to you. What is Tuesday today? If you're here in the UK, you'll have it by Thursday or Friday, I would imagine, if you place the order now. Then come back. You can watch this show back. And the great thing is, think of it like a tutorial. You can pause it. You can rewind it. You can really go back and, and um, master this project. So you'll always have this video tutorial here whenever you need it. Because I know some people, Leanne, get a bit panicked about thinking, oh, I'm never going to remember exactly what happened there. Yes, always just come back and watch it. I mean, it's marvellous. that It's just like a library of tuition isn't it yeah. George it really is fabulous now notice what I'm doing here I just want to show you this because this might be something that you've struggled with at home I know when I first started making little bags and pouches I did I folded over the bottom piece and I folded in my edges and you can see it's really hard and um, you can see how they're not folding straight how this piece of fabric's pushing it out and it ends up being quite bulky actually what I do is I take this away as you would in paper crafting with box making I take that corner away so I just use my scissors and snip that little triangle off which makes this so much easier and um, neater to sew in place now. You can see that there, you've got like a little mitered corner. Um, and it just makes it so much more neat, but it means through you're not going through so many layers when you're actually, um, when you're sewing it. And it means you're not struggling with a clumsy finish at the end of your pouch. Because now when I fold that up there, it's lying beautifully flush and I haven't got those little triangles sticking out that I had before. So there's a little top tip for you as well. Just snip in as if you're making a box, okay? Right, so we've got that all in place now, and I'm going to start sewing. And by the way, oh my word, get yourself to the website. If you haven't got this in your life, get it. It's the first time I've used it today, Joe, and I'm buying one. It's great, isn't it? It's amazing. This sewing machine is truly fabulous. Now, what I'm doing is I'm using it actually with the start stop button because I'm standing on my little aerobic step today. It'd be difficult doing a sewing machine foot pedal on my aerobic step whilst trying to be tall enough to use the machine. So I'm using my stop start button, which is on here if you wonder what I'm doing. And that just <laughs> sets the machine off for sewing and stops it from sewing. Okay. So you haven't got the foot pedal on. That's great, though, that you don't need to operate yep. it with a foot pedal if you don't want to. It gives yeah. you, you yeah. know, if you're in a chair or something like yeah. that, and you don't have, you know, great dexterity Absolutely. in now, your legs, and that's honest, perfect. Actually, just before I stitch, I want to show you this on a spare piece of cork. This is a, another top tip for you. Um, if I stitch with the regular stitch length from the machine, and I'm just doing that, I'm just going to speed it up a little bit to do a little bit, and then I'll sh turn it over and show you. If I stitch with my regular stitch size on cork, it's very similar to four leather. In the fact that what happens is you create perforations so it would be easy to tear easier to tear that away so what you need to do when you're stitching the cork and you're stitching your faux leather is lengthen your stitch because these stitches are too close together now which means that it might skip that it might not be perfectly uh, even but also you create perforation so it can okay. tear apart if you do a longer stitch the fabric that's kept in between the bits where the needle's pierced stops that from happening. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm need to elongating you know, Leanne, my stitch as well. Uh, yes? I'm a bit worried about that cork fabric now. Uh, oh. A third of the stock of the fork, uh, the fork, fork cabric. Of the fork of the fabric. Fork I candles. Mean, I've just fork given candles. A third of the stock's gone. I'm going home. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> 
four candles, <laughs> love. Right, so I've elongated my stitch to four, to four. So I'm needle down. I want to start with my needle in the down position and I'm going to the slowest speed. So you want to go, the same with four leather when you're going through, I'm going through four layers here, my two turned over pieces. When you're going through multiple layers, you want a slow stitch, a longer stitch and control. Fabulous. So I'm setting off nice and slowly and I'm just sewing about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. And you see also, um, and this is a top tip for your four leather as well, guys. I'll just stop that while I tell you. I'm just making, I'm just lining it back up at the top again to make sure it's all even. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Oh no, I've remembered. I've remembered what I was going to say. Gosh, I'm having lots of senior moments today. Um, if you have a longer stitch, when you're sewing with a, a fabric like this or with your four leather, actually it moves through the machine much more efficiently. And um, you might have tried with, look, and look how beautiful that stitch is going down there. Look, I'm going to bring it up so you can see, look. Beautiful. It's gorgeous, isn't it? In that mm. top, and I've used a white thread so you can see you'll use a lovely grey one that'll match in with your uh, cork fabric. Oh, pants. Have you done it in the wrong way around? No. What, I made me stitch ripper. Oh, do you know what? Because you know, I got excited about me stitching and I forgot to put me thing in. What's your thing? Me thing for me flap. <sighs> Joe, you have a little chat with him while I get me stitch ripper out, pet. I'll be back in a second. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we'll come back to Leanne in just a second. Right, I need to give you some updates. Uh, you're on form today, Leanne. I must say, you keep me entertained. <laughs> um, uh, Joe, uh, you might have answered this, but is the fabric soft on the inside so as not to scratch my glasses? Absolutely, uh, it is soft on the inside. It's kind of almost like felty. Uh, it's quite downy as well on the inside, which is fantastic. Uh, I need to let you know though, 40% of the cork fabric is now sold out and gone. Let me just quickly go through again what you're gonna get. So you're gonna get the forest, you're gonna get that beautiful chocolate brown, and you're also going to get as well uh, the Oxford Blue. Now, um, the great thing is um, that, of course, you can use your uh, Club Inspire discount as well uh, with all of these uh, great discounts that we bring you here on Crafters TV. So uh, Platinum members, uh, you'd get another, what, mm, what, nearly five pounds off of that, which would make that even more uh, amazing value for money. But 40% of the stock's gone. Uh, I'm gonna take you through uh, the uh, nesting dies uh, in a minute once uh, Leanne has just finished off her glasses pouch. So I'm going to hand back to Leanne. How are you um, getting on with a bit for your flat? Nothing happened here. You didn't see that. Uh, I didn't have to pick anything out. So when you get halfway up your pouch, as I've got here, then with your little strap that we've made, just pop that in, just about a quarter of an inch in, and then continue sewing. Okay, but just do it in a straight line. And all that's going to do is catch it in the right place so that you can go over it nice and slowly there we are in the slowest stitch i would back tack over that but for speed i'm not going to just so i can show you what i've done here then stop sure should i is saying it's my fault apparently uh should i saying uh, joe you are the cause of that uh, you keep interrupting our teacher <laughs> Well don't blame me, I'm on the other side of the studio. Thank you for <laughs> sorting that out for me. So then once I've done that and I've stitched that in place, fold it over and then it comes in here to the opposite side of the seam allowance and then you just stitch all the way back down. And when you stitch back down, because uh, I've got lots of other things to show you, when you stitch back down the other side, this is what you've got with your beautiful top stitching. You've got your little piece there for that to go inside and because it doesn't fray, um, you've just got a beautiful pouch for your sunglasses. You could do a pleaky on there if you wanted to. And that is a lovely soft fleece that is not going to scratch your glasses. Mm, absolutely. Uh, don't forget you can use your uh, Club Inspire discount with that as well. So you're going to be able to get uh, even more uh, off of that. I'll show you all the details uh, of Club Inspire as we go through the show as well. Uh, now we're going to go back to uh, the quilt as you go fabric kits uh, at the moment. 15% of these, 15% of these I nearly had a panic then. I thought there was only 15% left. 15 cents gone. Thank goodness for that. Uh, in here, uh, you're going to get the mug cosy, you're going to get the mug rug, and you're going to get uh, the coasters as well. We'll be having a look at those in more detail. Now, I know you're all watching the demonstrations, and you're also all uh, thinking, well, I don't want to miss out on any of these deals. It's very easy uh, to watch and shop at the same time 
uh, here uh, at Crafters TV. I'll show you how in just a second. Uh, before that then though, I just want to quickly whiz you through again uh, the nesting guys. These are great for so many different projects. Uh, you know the little earbud case that um, uh, Jen did uh, recently? You can use these for that. Uh, they're fantastic. You get the heart, you get the triangle, and you get the butterfly included in here as well. And all of that comes to uh, £30. So you're actually saving more than you're spending yeah. Uh, in there. Uh, now Leanne is going to be demonstrating these in a moment with the Liberty fabric. Before she does though, I do just want to give you the details of how you can watch and shop at the same time because it's very easy uh, to do so with us here at Crafters TV. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. All the details there of how you can watch at the same time. We are having an exceptionally busy uh, soft side. Like I think it's because Leanne's here. I mean, that's the only. I mean, what else could it possibly be? It's the only. Uh, it's the only difference. Uh, Leanne will take that as well. Now remember, there's some gorgeous Liberty fabrics over on our website with some great discounts. Remember, it's all cut by the meter as well. Uh, so if you wanted to go for multiples of half meters. Absolutely, uh, you can do so. Already had sell out. There's about 25 different options there. So take your time, go through, build your basket. If you're in the UK, make sure you get over um, 20 pounds worth and then we'll mail it out to you totally free of charge, which is fantastic. Uh, so definitely stock up on that. Do I need to give you any more information about anything else or are we sort of, uh, was the A1, how about the A1 folding ruler? Was that very busy? 15% of that one has gone. And also, you know, things like our folding rulers, that's not a Crafters TV stock. That is a site-wide stock that we're talking about. So it's very busy. Now, are you going to show us these nesting dies next, Leanne? I am because, do you know what? I adore these dies. I'm very much into a plique at the moment. And also, uh, because I'm going to be a grandmother for the first time this year, exciting. I'm wanting to applique everything, everything I can see. And I'm going to be appliquing animals and butterflies and all sorts everywhere. Um, and so these dies are fabulous for that. But they're also great for uh, cutting your different shapes, for patchworking. They're great for stitching around and making little butterfly um, pouches to put things in, like the little earbuds that Joe was telling you about that Jen did. Um, but for applique, they are exceptional. So I've got my Gemini plates here. And what I've got is some lovely Liberty fabric which has heat and bond already applied to the back here. Now, when you've got your heat and bond on, all you're going to do is put that onto your um, fabric and then iron it in place, which it is. And then I've got it available. Now, now I can die cut it. Okay, so with my die cut, I've got my little die. I've got my plates coming in together here. Um, and then I'm just going to run it through my machine. And these dies are larger than the average die um deeper than the average die i should say which means they'll cut through several layers of fabric in one pass so if i wanted to get eight of these butterflies ten of these butterflies ready i can cut through eight to ten layers with one with one pass of my machine with layers of fabric there then get the heat and bond on the back of them all um, and then i'm good to go you can also use your stick and stay adhesives if you want to if you don't want to use your heat and bonds so you see i've got my lovely butterfly there ready to go just going to move my plates out the way and then i'm going to get my little sewing mat in here so i'm going to move my gemini there and bring in my um little mat ready now I've got a number of these butterflies pre-prepared for you because you don't want to watch me cutting out loads of them. And they've all got the heat and bond on the back. I'm just remembering, do I need to peel that off? Yes, I do. Lovely, because that leaves the glue there. Just remembering what I need to do. There we go. 
Now, so all of my butterflies are ready to go and they all have my heat and bond on the back. So you can see my paper layer there. Now, just before I start putting them on, what I did was get ready a cushion front. So I've just got a nice piece of kind of calico here, a nice plain calico. And then a lovely, I think this is Liberty 2, a lovely Liberty border where I've used my ruler to cut myself two inch strips, precise, beautiful two inch strips that have then been sewn around the square of my calico. And actually, can I just lend my ruler back, please? Because the square of the calico in the middle, the square one, that's lovely. To get a perfect square for a cushion size, actually, look, it's just the size of the square ruler. And I wanted to show you this because this is why you'll see that all of these things we do have a reason for them all to Why tie together. Why is half pink and half white? Um, so that you can see for when you're doing your half squares and your quarter squares. So okay. You're doing ha half triangles and I'm quarter triangles. I'm not making that up. Half, half of that is white. I can't. Oh, yes. is it all pink? No, no. Oh, I thought I, I, thought I was half losing right, my tiny mind pink. then. For a so you've got quarter square triangles on one side, half square triangles on the other side, and you use that side depending. White lines on here black lines on here so you know what you're doing all is, of the instructions are in the package is that that liberty fabric you've got there it's i don't think it's the one we've got on the show but it is a liberty it fabric. is a liberty print and now the one we've got on the show would look just as beautiful wonderful you can see a variety of different fabrics uh yeah. would you like to know which one's in the lead yeah adlington hall yeah, darling, darling. Is in the lead. adlington hall darling. sounds like somewhere you'd go for a, i was going to say something else then sounds like somewhere you'd go for a for a, a mud bath and a, a jacuzzi and a steam doesn't it it really does <laughs> or somewhere where you could go for champagne cocktails and absolutely tea. that's what that <laughs> sounds like to me um right so i've got my butterflies that we've all cut out from our nesting dies they've got our heat and bond on the back and remember we peel this backing paper backing off which leaves that shiny, you can see there, that shiny little adhesive layer. And then you just find where you want to put it on your fabric and bond it in place. So you're keeping your iron still um, and applying some pressure while you do that. And then move it to the next point, keep it still, apply some pressure. You don't want to be doing this when you first put it down because you might wrinkle it up and skew with it and get a crease in it. I think so people, just go down, keep it down. I think the concern is that by holding it, because we're so taught, aren't we, when we iron close, that you never just hold the iron down because yeah. you're going to, but you have to move it backwards and forwards. Yes. So I think that's why we're just a bit pre-programmed to want to just sort of yes. move it around, but it's not the best thing to do. Um, it's not the best thing to do. And actually when you're doing applique or when you're doing your patchworking, it's the worst thing you could do okay. because that's how you stretch your fabrics works so when you apply heat and pressure and movement that's how you're going to stretch and distort your patchwork blocks out of shape so when when we're saying in patchworking press and applique press means press which Fantastic. is what i'm doing there we're pressing the heat in place we're not ironing this is ironing this is pressing wonderful okay the here end is the lesson by Leanne again. I do like to teach little lessons every oh, now and again. Oh, do you know what? Apparently, uh, <laughs> Ray says, Joe is having a time of it today. <laughs> Thanks for that. Uh, Carol says, Adlington Hall is close to her. She lives, uh, Carol oh. lives in um, in the Peak District, I believe, if I remember that rightly. Uh, it's a wedding van uh, venue now, apparently. Oh, Ooh, amazing. So now you know. It's a real place. It's a real place. Well, I never. Well, I'll go to the foot of our stairs, Joe. <laughs> what does that even mean? I've no idea. <laughs> My grandma used to say it, and so now, therefore, I say it. Um, LJ missed what it was that you put on the back of the fabric, Leanne. Heat and bond. Heat and bond, Heat fantastic. And bond. Uh, Sonia says Leanne is very detailed. Great teachers, y'all know, are extremely thorough. Absolutely they are. As Sonia came up with one of my favourite phrases uh, recently during the uh, US warehouse sale when everything had sold out and people weren't happy, she just said, snooze you lose, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, it's oh. true. <laughs> there we uh, go. That rotary cutter, 10% uh, of the stock of that has gone. We had a huge stock uh, of that as well. So we're having a very big, in fact, Maybe one of the busiest Softer Side of Life art shows I can remember. It is incredibly busy. Uh, and we've already had loads of sellouts in the craft hall. As In fact, do you know what? After this demonstration, Leanne, what I'll do is I'll whiz through what we've got left because we had four sellouts already in the craft hall. So I'll pop through and do uh, what's left in that craft hall in a minute after this. So if you, if you didn't sew with these, do you have to sew these on afterwards or could you just sort of 
Could you use a bit of stick and stay for fabric with these and sort of leave them like that? Well, you can leave them with your heating bond as well. Oh, really? It's, bond it's heated and it's bonded. Um, and so you don't have to do anything. And because you've got your heating bond, you don't get a frayed edge. So if you're not a confident sewer and you don't want to, and you just want to leave it like that and do your cushion back now, of course you can do that. However, I love to do a little decorative stitch around it. So now that it's bonded in place, what you can do is take it to your machine and just stitch around the end, uh, around the edges. And I'm just going to do that with a little blanket stitch. So I've just moved mine onto my blanket stitch. Um, we can see there. And then um, I'm going to set it off. And again, when I'm doing decorative stitching like this, jaw, I like to go slow. And that's why a machine like this one, where you've got that variable speed and where you've got your on-off. You see, I'm, I haven't used a foot pedal once with this machine. And so actually, if you've got issues with dexterity or if you've got problems with sciatica or anything like that with your hips maybe, you can use this machine without the foot pedal. And I'm just going round the side, I'm doing a little blanket stitch, which is one of my preferred ones for applique. I just think it looks gorgeous. Um, and just moving the butterfly round. You see, I'm using two hands to do that underneath. I'm just going to pick, I'm only going to do half. You don't need to see it all. Um, and then you'll see how beautiful that looks. But the heat and bond keeps that in place. And so actually, um, it doesn't move at all. And I don't have to have annoying pins in the way or anything like that. And I've got... I hope you can see, I'm going to come up, show you, look, I have got the most beautiful blanket stitch around the edge of my butterfly there, and it looks hand-stitched, it just looks really, really lovely, um, and they get appliqued on, and then all you would do, just tell you how you would do the cushion, because this is the cushion, I'm not going to do it because I've got so much to show you, but just to give you an example, for the same size, with your Liberty Fabrics, same size as you've got for your... Um, cushion front I've got two here and you see all I've done is I've cut two rectangles a little larger than half of the cushion front and then I've turned it over with a half an inch seam on both pieces so that when you now stitch this together and you just go around all four edges this will turn it inside out and probably what I'll do is I'll just do this really quickly while Joe's doing craft fault I'll finish this up and then um, I'll put a little thing on my Facebook page I'll give you the cushion cover. I'll send it out. We'll do a little win the cushion cover thing. Um, and I'll send this out to a lucky person who's commented. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't know why I felt the need to greet you again. You knew I was here uh, all along. But we are in the craft for absolutely. I must say, we've had, was it one, two, three? I think it's three or four sellouts already in the craft vault. Uh, so it's why uh, we thought we'd come to this early today to give you a heads up before any of this sold out. Lots of comments asking me about my heart. Someone saying, is it one of those designer, uh, what's the brand? Uh, Oh, I don't know if I can say that. Laura is very much uh, our sort of style icon here, uh, our producer. And it's called, what is it called? Com de Garçon. Apparently it's a brand, Leanne. And they have a little heart as their motif like this. And I look like, in fact, you know, I'm actually wearing a Primark t-shirt. But you wouldn't know. People think it's designer. Uh, now... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with the craft art because we've had loads of sellouts. Right, Tokyo Blue. Now, this is gorgeous. It's one of our Threaders um, Fat Quarter Bundles. I'll just show you what you're getting in here. So you're getting that beautiful uh, green and yellow just there. Then you've got that wonderful yellow background fabric and then the beautiful pattern fabric on the back there. It's half price, uh, £3.99 or £5.99 uh, if you want to grab those. The other, we did have some fabric strip rolls as well. Totally sold out. Uh, and gone from our craft vault. So uh, definitely grab what we've got uh, whilst we have it. Oh, Fox in the Woods uh, is what we've got here. And it's some of our uh, um, threaders, uh, our embroidery threads, uh, not embroidery threads, sorry, our regular threads. Um, there's 50, uh, 150 metres on each of these. You've got pink, copper, navy blue, cream, and olive green uh, within there. So if you want to get stocked up on your threads, uh, a really great way to do it. The reason I thought it was embroidery thread because the embroidery thread is next. That's half price, $7.99. Or 11.49. We've got some embroidery threads, or as you guys call it in America, see if I can do it, floss. 
which is a dance move here in the UK. I mean, my table was kind of in the way, but you know, you'll have to forgive me. I'm auditioning for Strictly, that's what it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, what you've got here is that you've got some uh, embroidery uh, floss or thread, which is great for allowing you to do all of your freehand embroidery. Really lovely colours in here. I've uh, got really bright, uh, sort of pastel summer tones uh, within there. Very spring, isn't it? £2.99 is all that's going to take you back. Four ninety-seven. I'd be rude for that not to fall into uh, a basket at that price. Uh, the next one we've got is our rabbit, 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 rabbit yeah, rabbit, rabbit. Uh, that's a Chas and Dave song for anyone that's here in the UK. American people, uh, how would you even begin to explain Chas and Dave to our American friends? I just don't think we could. It would be like Morris dancing and the Wurzels. We may as well just not even bother. Uh, now, if you want to go for this rabbit diet, what it allows you to do is kind of like a, do you know what it's a bit like? This was a bit like the predecessor to our Builder Buddy. It's kind of like that kind of thing, uh, but in a different die cut. So it was just um, the first sort of first generation of that, if you will, which is fantastic though because you get everything you need in the one set to build them. Uh, Nine ninety nine or fourteen ninety seven uh, is your price on that one. It is half price. Uh, now we've also got festive traveller as well. Now these make. Uh, these beautiful little projects that you can see on the front of there, lovely little festive project for you. Uh, seven pounds. That's upside down. Uh, seven pounds. <laughs> So uh, I shouldn't have come, I just shouldn't have come in today, should I? I knew I was going to be discombobulated today. Seven pounds forty-nine or ten dollars. Uh, Seven pounds forty-nine, ten dollars forty-nine. If you want to grab that one, it makes those lovely little projects that you can see just there on the picture. Now that it is the right way round. Right. Oh, do we have the deal? Is that gone? Oh, it's gone. It wasn't dear, hey, but now it's gone. That's why it's gone. Uh, but yeah, literally half of our um, craft fault products have sold out already. So that's what's left in the craft fault. If you want to grab it, then go over to the Soft Side of Life show. Click on the shop, the show. If you want to watch the shop at the same time, of course, you can do that. Just go over to the website. This video will be live on the homepage. Underneath it, there's a little button that says shop the show. Uh, and you can shop there. And you'll find all the craft fault deals. They've got the little craft fault logo uh, within them, which is fantastic. Uh, now, um, <laughs> uh, Rosalind's saying maybe it's time for a break. <laughs> I, th I think she means like, not like 20 minutes for some lunch. I think she means like you know, a couple of weeks. Uh, I couldn't leave you all. You know, I feel like we've, we've grown so attached since this whole uh, lockdown thing uh, has happened. Lynn is really laughing at Chas and Dave the Wurzels and Morris dancing as an, as an insight into UK culture. Um, Stacey saying as well, I always learn so many things from Leanne uh, when she is here. How are you getting on with your uh, project over there, I'm Leanne? I'm on the final stretch. Ooh. Now. So I'm just whizzing along all of the corners and then I'm going to show you the last thing you do. Now, just as we get here, you see I'm going pretty quick. Um, just as I get to this point here, which is where it overlaps, that's the stress point. So that's here, where your cushion's going to go inside. So what I always do is pause at that point and then I reverse and then go start again. So that gets three layers of stitching. So I always just go back over any stress points and that's where you're going to be pushing your pad inside. So that would be one of the areas that gets a lot of stress and pressure. So I'm just using my start stop. I've got my needle down, pivot my fabric, foot down, off I go again. And you see, I'm using my start stop button constantly. This machine honestly is fantastic. If you've had sciatica, if you've had a hip replacement, if your feet a pain, a painful if you have that thing that I can't remember the name of where you get pains in the bottom of your feet and you struggle with a foot pedal having this start stop button this feature on a on a computerized sewing machine like this electronic sewing machine is truly amazing I promise uh, you'll never want to use your foot pedal again once you start using a start stop button back stitch again just to finish it off finished on there needle up out we come chop the fabrics and then finally just before we turn it inside out all i do is take the corners off not into the stitches just up to the stitches and that just means you'll get a nice point when you turn it inside out then we just turn this all the way in give it a little shake Give it a little push in the corners, a little bamboo um, cane, or actually I use a chopstick at home into the corners just to turn those points out as you as you turn it through. I'm just using my finger for now for speed for you guys. You can see there. But we're going to send this out to somebody. So I'll put Are a we? comment. Yep, we're going to put a comment on my oh. Facebook page. If you've commented here, um, I'll 
pop the who the winner is, or we'll just we'll get our prizes, people to I'll pick somebody at random. Actually, Joe, you can scroll the comments and pick the winner before pick the winner before we Should leave. we do it at the end? Should we do Will it? Will you at the remind end? me? And then please. everybody gets an opportunity. Uh, you guys at home, can you there remind me to do it before the end? Now uh, how how easy is that? You can pick the winner, Joe, and then we'll send this out. Wonderful. That All is gorgeous. Uh, very busy on the uh, Liberty Fabrics. Is it still Adlington Hall, darling, Adlington which is in the lead? Hall, uh, we definitely feel like and we need to go there for a... Uh, what are those things called? Oh, I was going to say it, but now it's now, now it doesn't sound as nice. Have you ever been to one of those health farms and you have something called a dry float? Have you ever had it? A dry have you float? Not, have you, I know. Have you not seen it? I think it's called like a, it's the, so it's like a water bath. Like basically it's like a big bath mm -hmm. and it's got a big sheet of plastic over the top of it. And you lay on the plastic mm -hmm. and then they lay, they lower the plastic down into the water. Yeah. And then it's like a weighted blanket that they put over you after they've massaged all these oils into you. So basically you're like in a water cocoon basically with, uh, up to your head. Uh, and they uh, apparently, they leave you in there for like 45 minutes and you get in and you think, oh, well, I'm never going to be able to sleep in here. And next minute, all you hear is with a lady like coming in to tell you your time's up. But apparently it's um, the equivalent of like eight hours natural sleep being in this like water cocoon. That sounds very traumatic. <laughs> It's not. It really isn't. Do you really have to be able isn't. to swim? How deep is the water? No, no, you're not in the water because you're actually wrapped up in the, the weighted blanket and the tarpaulin. So the water doesn't touch you? It doesn't touch you. You're just floating in like a, a cocoon of yummy, <laughs> big sweaty bag, as my uh, producer Laura just said. That doesn't sound like fun. <laughs> Sonia also said that... Uh, <laughs> Joe, it's like a, I've just got visions of being like a piece of boiling the bag cod now. I don't know why. That's not what it's like. Uh, Sonia says, Joe, my grandson recently showed me that dance move. So we both have uh, the floss. I won't do it again. I'll spare you. Um, <laughs> uh, Joe, you have done some interesting, interesting stuff, uh, says... Uh, <laughs> says Stacey. Um, right, uh, I need to go back to the nesting dies for you. Now, uh, in all seriousness, these are an amazing deal that you've got on these. To give you some ideas, they should be $24.99 for each. So, any other day, you'd buy the Love Hearts. We've had the Love Hearts on the show before at full price. You'd buy the Love Hearts, $24.99. We're asking you to spend another five pounds and a penny to get the other two as well. Great for a plique, great for little shaped bags as well. So many different things you can do the, with them. Because there are multimedia dies too, it means that you don't just need to cut fabric with these. You want to cut balsa wood with them. Do you want to cut uh, all of your different foams? Do you want to cut um, like soda cans or drinks cans? Uh, do you want to cut craft metal with them? You can do all of that because they are a multimedia die. So they're perfect for fabric, but perfect for so many other things as well. Did I hear right, a fifth of the stock gone there? Fifth of the stock already gone, £30 or $47, 60% saving. Uh, free PMP on those as well uh, in the UK if you want to grab them. Right, we're going to move on to the crochet kits. I'm going to whiz you through all five of them that we've got on the show. Can I just grab, can I just grab something out of my box? One second. Shall I, can I just grab the box? Go, I'm going to go. Right. I just want to grab, I just wanted to give you an idea of what these look like. Now, I don't have the exact ones here in the studio, but I do have some of the other options uh, that we've sold previously. Just, let me just comb my unicorn mane, one second. Oh, and Leanne's got some too, so she'll show you. Look at that cute little unicorn. It isn't one of the options. I just wanted it to give you a sort of idea of um, what you're gonna be able to make though. I don't know what this chap is. I think he's a rhino. Is he a rhino? He's got a very, he's a bit front heavy, isn't he? He's gonna, uh, I can't imagine him running through the savannah. Uh, looking like that, but he, he is adorable. Let me run you through the ones that we've got though. So what we've got is we've got uh, Louis, the lamb. Uh, I'm not going to do um, noises for all of them. Um, we've got, uh, what normal, what name does a duck, what noise? Quack, quack. Of course it does. How did I not know that? Danny the duckling. We've got it sounds like your, <laughs> like your horn. <laughs> quack, quack. Uh, we've also got Leroy the lion. Rawr. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we've got uh, Kyra, the kitten. Meow. And, oh, there's the, what noise does a hedgehog make? <laughs> oh, that's what noise a hedgehog makes. <laughs> like you've got an itchy nose and you're a bit out of breath. 
<laughs> uh, £4.99 gets you any of those. I can see that lots of you are multi-ordering on those. You do get full instructions included as well, <laughs> um, too, because who was asking? I think it was Kian. No, it's Kerry. I was asking uh, if these are good for beginners. Well, do you know what? I'm not going to answer that. I'm going to let uh, the queen of the the queen of the hooks herself uh, answer that for you. Uh, the lovely Leanne. Do you fancy whizzing us through these and what we get included, Leanne? I would absolutely love to whiz you through these and what we get included. I love these uh, hooked kits, but I need my glasses because I can't see very well. So uh, I'm just going to get my glasses out of my. Um, oh, out I see of what my, you did uh, there. Out of my cork glasses case. Now, uh, Hazel the Hedgehog is in the lead. She's out in front at the moment. Hazel is my Hazel. sole sister. <laughs> um, because she's little, round, and spiky. <laughs> and Nigel May always called me Miss. Still to this day, I get texts from him, Mrs. T, how are you? Mrs. Which, T. Mrs. T which is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle from the Beatrix Potter characters. And was she a hedgehog? She was a hedgehog ah. and she was round, she wore an apron and a mop cap. And Sounds he said perfect. that uh, I reminded him of Mrs. <laughs> Tiggy Winkle. Love, love Nigel. Thank you, darling. Um, right, now then, so in your kits you're going to get everything you need. I've just moved my box. Here's my box here. This is for Danny the Duckling. So Danny the Duckling comes with a nice big ball of this fabulous uh, lemon yellow cotton, which I've used to start making his body. You get your hook at the perfect size. You get your full instructions. You get your salmon pink feet and beak. And you get your bit of black string for his eyes. And you get your full um, instructions, not only in English, but in these other, this, is, this looks like German to me and French. So you've got other language instructions in there as well, if English is not your native tongue. Okay, so what we're going to do is just start by crocheting um, some accessories. Now you see what I've done is already follow the instructions and start and I've made Danny's body and Danny's head and I've stitched them together and they're looking gorgeous. One thing to mention guys, you don't get the stuffing. Um, in these boxes so you will need to get yourself a little bit of stuffing um, to pop in there if you like. I sometimes just use yarn scraps. I keep all of my yarn scraps that I chop off all of my little projects and use that for stuffing so whatever you want. Other thing is buy a cheap pillow, raid the contents of the pillow. <laughs> um, that's what I had to top tip. Don't buy stuffing, raid a pillow. Um, now I'm starting with my yarn. I just want to show you as well what I like to do when I'm starting with the yarn. You'll see how it's all tied and wound round nice here so it doesn't unravel. Don't undo that just take the little piece from the middle that's sticking out and when you're crocheting, bring your yarn from the middle of the ball. It naturally just pulls away the amount you need and it doesn't run all over the floor for the cat to chase and it doesn't get knotted up. So it's the best way to do it is to put, bring it from the middle of the ball there. So we're going to have a work on a, on a leg, on a foot. So I'm looking at my feet instructions there and it says here, in apricot, chain two. So to chain two, the first thing I need is a slip knot. So a slip knot, and different people do these in different ways, but for me, it's as my mum taught me 48 years ago uh, to do, and I can't do it any other way now. So I go around my fingers, and then that end comes up the middle and gets pulled, and that's my slip knot. Okay, so I'll do that once more for you. Holding the yarn in my little finger there to hold it still, comes around my fingers, and then, so I've made a full loop, a full O, this long end that's attached to your ball comes up the middle there and then when you pull, you get your slip knot. Do you know why my magic circle wasn't, it wouldn't work the other week? Why was that, love? Because I wasn't making a magic circle, I was making a slip knot, that's why it wouldn't work. And it turns out it there's a difference between a magic circle and a slip knot. There is. And I thought they were the same thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why, you know what I'm saying, I can't do it, it's too yes. tight. Yes. Oh, well, I was there you using go. a See? slip knot, not a magic circle. Isn't that good? You, it, every day is a school day, isn't it, Joe? It's fantastic. Now, we are going to be doing um, a crochet masterclass on Friday. Are we? With granny squares. So if, if some of this is a little bit fast for you, obviously you can watch it back. Tune in on Friday on the Silver Surface page with us here at Crafters Companion. And I'm going to be doing a crochet masterclass with granny squares. So you'll be able to get your kits now. And then all of the techniques that I show mm. you in lots of detail, a full hour's worth on Friday, you'll be able to apply to making your little crochet So will that kits. be, just a second, so people to watch that, 
Produ producer Laura knows all the details. Yes. Will people be able to watch that? It'll be over on the Silver Surfers page. Right, so you'll need to go over and like the Silver Surfers page and join us over there for that. Should we give people a reminder on our Facebook yes. pages on Friday morning where that. they can find us? Perfect. Yes. We'll make sure we do that on Friday morning on our pages. And I'll do it on my personal Facebook page as well for you because um, if you get your kits now and it arrives before Friday, bonus, when you watch that little masterclass I'm going to do, you're going to be able to crochet these animals up immediately. It's really fabulous. I think that's the best thing to do. Uh, that's at 9am here in the UK. So Robin's asking when. For you, Robin, uh, that's going to be about four o'clock in the morning. So you might want to watch it back a bit later in the day. Now, uh, a top tip from me when you're using these hooked kits with this cotton is because it's a cotton, it doesn't have any stretch. So try and keep your tension because it's tight and it doesn't stretch. Try and keep your tension a little bit looser than you would normally. Um, so that just means keep the loop on your hook bigger. Don't have it. So you see there, I've got space between the end of my stitch here and the top. The stitch isn't resting flush with the end of my needle because it would be difficult to pull that loop through. So when you're crocheting with a 100% cotton like this that has no stretch in it, just try and keep your tension a little looser. Makes it easier So then, while you're practicing. So now I've got a chain two. So I bring two through with my hook. So I catch one chain, two chain. Bring that through there. There we go. And then the next is, is round, that was round one. Uh, sorry, chain two. And then round one is, oh, hang on. Chain two, round one is next. Read your instructions, Leanne. Try not to run ahead. Always best thing to do is six double crochet in the first stitch. Okay, so there's my first stitch there. And then I'm going to do double crochet, which actually is straight into the loop. Pick up your yarn, through the loop, yarn over, through the two loops on your hook. And you can see there, just take your time with that cotton when it doesn't have any stretch. So that was one, and I need to do five more. So one, two. Uh, these would be Three. perfect as a gift, wouldn't they? If you want to just send one of these to someone else as a little thank you yeah. uh, present, because um, yeah, really easy uh, to send these out to someone else. So if with anything actually here at Crafts Companion it, uh, and uh, Crafts TV, of course, if you want to pay for it and us send it somewhere else, all you do you've got the option. All you do is select a, a different mailing address or shipping address at checkout that your billing and shipping addresses are different and we take care of it. The, the invoice will go to you and the gorgeous project uh, or product, I should say, uh, can go to someone else, uh, which is fantastic. We all get a, uh, we get a bit excited when we all get that, that email, don't we, from the delivery firm. I got one today. I'll tell you what it was about in a minute, Leanne, because you're going to want to buy some. Oh, I will. I definitely want to know about that. Now, on round three, on round two, I beg your pardon, it says... Um, so it says I've got six stitches. So I just want to actually tell you, show you how you would catch, count your six stitches. You don't count the one on your hook ever. So that isn't actually a stitch. That's just a loop. The first stitch you count is this first one underneath that stitch on your hook. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six. So I know I've done the right thing there. Now I go to round two, three double crochet in the next stitch and then a double crochet. Okay, so next stitch, that's the first one I crocheted here. So I put my hook through and I'm doing three double crochet into this stitch. So yarn over, pull through the stitch, pull through the two loops on my hook. And then I need to do another two in that stitch. So back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through the yarn, pull through two. Back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two. So that's three into the next stitch and then a double crochet on its own. So this stitch here, the next one, hook goes in. And you see, when my hook goes in, just want to show you this as well, I've got a V on my hook. I go through both of those loops, catch the yarn, yarn over, pull through two. And then the next one is, because you've got an asterisk, repeat it. So I'm going to do three stitches into this next loop. So that's yarn through, catch your yarn, through. So that's a double crochet. So back into the same stitch, catch your yarn, You've got two loops on your hook, yarn over, through the two loops on your hook, one more because I need you to do it three times, back into the same stitch, catch your yarn, two hooks on your stitch, on your two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull that through those two. Now what you're doing here is increasing. That's why you're um, doing more than one stitch into the same loop because you're making your circle. I'm just going to bring this here and show you. You're making it ever increasing rather than ever decreasing 
spiral of a circle to make the shape of the body, the head or the foot. And the instructions are really easy. And all you do is you do a series of um, crocheting more than one stitch into a, uh, one, more than once into a stitch and then one stitch. And you just do that as you go up and it increases it all the way. So, so simple to do. So the next stitch here was um, one double crochet into the next stitch. So I go through that stitch there with my hook. I've just caught more than the stitch there. If ever you do that, just stop and readjust because um, it doesn't take more than a second. So through that stitch, yarn over, through the stitch, two loops on my hook, yarn over, through the two loops on my hook. And then I need to do three again. So I'm going into this same stitch and you see my circle is getting bigger as I go. So I'm doing my ever increasing rounds for the little foot as I did for the bottom here and for the head. So that's yarn over, two loops of my hook, yarn over through the two, back into the same stitch because this is an increased stitch, yarn over through the through the stitch, two loops on my hook, yarn over through both loops. One more, so back into the same stitch, yarn over through the stitch, two loops on my hook, yarn over through the two loops. And then the next stitch is a single stitch. So that's just one double crochet into one stitch. So hook goes in, got the V on the top of my hook, yarn over, two loops on my hook, yarn over through the two loops. Then the next stitch is an increased stitch into three. So you see you're doing three, one, three, one, Fabulous. three, one, all the way around. And that's what helps you get your circle bigger as you go around. Uh, Carol has ordered the duck, the lamb and the lion. She already has the pig and the unicorn uh, and she's saving them for when she gets news that she might be a grandma. Uh, so she's, uh, she's, uh, she's making them up in advance. Um, uh, Michelle says, can we have the item sent to us, Joe, and the invoice sent to someone else? <laughs> I'm not sure that's how it works. I <laughs> don't think we have that option on our website, uh, unfortunately. Uh, Stacey is asking, what is the full name of the Facebook group for Friday? It's Silver Surfers 50, I believe it's called, uh, the, sil the uh, Facebook group. So that's where uh, you need to go. Um, oh, Hazel the Hedgehog. That's a hedgehog. Uh, that has 20% uh, of the stock's gone. Is that the favourite at the moment, the hedgehog? I know Danny the Duck whack, whack, is also uh, very close uh, behind uh, Leroy the Lion. Oh, Louis the Lamb. Oh, Leroy. I'm getting my Leroy's and got my lambs and my lions confused. Uh, Leroy, Leroy? Yeah, Louis. Leroy's the Lion. Louis the Lamb. Louis is uh, your second favourite. Uh, at the moment uh, remember if you want to uh, you can of course multi-order if you want to get all five of them all five of them leanne 24 pounds 96 how amazing is that what really or 24 pound no 24 pound 94. oh 95, my word 96? that is such yeah. good value for money joe less than 25 pounds to get all five of them so which is a amazing a kit? five yep yeah, five pounds uh, per kit is all these are uh, which is amazing value all you've got to add is that bit of stuffing uh, into there and you've got something that is really good to go have we lost you now leanne is that it? You... i'm just crocheting away here i'm just having a nice time <laughs> honestly this isn't like work at all and i'm also following my instructions so now on my round uh, can i just say get them five pound a kit for five yep. hooks all the yarn everything you need all the instructions those fabulous characters it's five fantastic gifts for somebody but actually just keep them for yourself <laughs> absolutely um Anne is asking do the kits have translation for american terms because uh, apparently a double is what we call a single crochet over it is uh, you can just use a you can print out a converter can't you, you quite can. easily how many different stitches are in that um are in there leanne so i'm just looking here it tells you the actual stitches you need here so you can see it's it can it's saying slip stitch um it's showing you how to a double and a treble and a turning chain so actually there's only three stitches you need to understand so you can convert this. those quite very easily. easy and actually if you're watching let me tell you exactly what they now are for the usa mm -hmm. if you want to write this when you get it down write it down when you rewind this back a slip stitch is the same a double crochet is a usa single right a treble crochet is a usa double and a turning chain's the same. Fantastic. So actually, you just minus one off. 
Does that okay. make sense? So yep. is a double is a single and a treble is a double in the USA. And if you remember that, you're going to be able to follow the pattern. Mm. And what I would do if I was you is just write on there with a pen when you get the instructions and then you're good to go. Fantastic. Do you remember those? Did we show you the picture of those shorts that I made, those rainbow shorts oh, that I wore amazing, at Glastonbury uh, that I crocheted? Did you well, make them? I made them, yeah. Oh, Joe, I thought you'd bought them. No, I crocheted you rainbow didn't, shorts. Oh, uh, my Yeah, word. no, I made them uh, from Yarn. Well, I thought I was following an American pattern and it said double crochet, which obviously is a triple crochet. Well, I did them all in, in basically Ooh, in double. Oh, they have been like felted. They were being really tight. They were tight. really, <laughs> really tight. Uh, but can you imagine how long they took me in double crochet? Oh, well, it took you forever. Well, it was like two weeks it took me to make them. They are fabulous. And then what I did was, because I had just started sewing, I trimmed all the ends of the yarns really short and <laughs> got all holes in the... Oh, a hole's in the back of them. Did I, you I not weave I, your ends in, Pez? No, I didn't. I, I've sorted them out now. Maybe yeah. I'll, one day I'll wear them. I'll come in, I'll bring them in Please. for you. They're quite, they're quite dashing, well, let's say. Well, I did say, didn't I, to you, if you, if you bring yours in, I'll crochet myself a bather. Perfect. Um, and you can come in in your shorts and I'll come in my bather. We'll not have any viewers that day. Fabulous. Maybe we could have like, like a Hawaiian, uh, maybe we could have like a Hawaiian or a seaside theme at Craftaganza yes. one evening. We can wear it all there. That would be perfect, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> right, we need to move on. We've got so much we still okay. need to show you uh, in this show. Uh, I just want to quickly whiz through the images of the finished ones again for you. So there's the whack uh, whack just there. Uh, we've then got the, that's the hedgehog. Uh, you've got the meow and we have the meh, the lamb. It's very deep, wasn't it? And the rawr for the lion. My, my raw needs work, I think. But you get all of them. Uh, all of them less than £25 if you want to go for them uh, like that. Ooh! You know what we've got to move on to now, don't you? The fabricates. Now, these are amazing because what you've got is... Leanne will take you through them, but essentially what you have is... The pattern is like on the actual um, fabric itself. Perfect if you've uh, thought about maybe quilting, but you don't know where to start, you don't know what your um, starting point is, these would be fantastic for you to use. Now I thought when we first came over this morning that you were going to have to choose one of these for $14.99 or $20.99. Absolutely not, you get all of them, which is fantastic. So you've got uh, this one here, which is the uh, Mug Cozy, uh, you've got the Mug Rug, and you've got uh, the coasters here as well. So you've got absolutely all of them uh, which is fantastic. A quarter of the stock of these, by the way, has sold out and gone. I was meant to tell you as well, half of the cork fabric has sold out and gone. We'll come back to that uh, in a few minutes. But if you want to grab these, now's a great time. We used to sell them individually, but it's great that we've now got them on a bundle for you uh, so you can get them uh, very easily. And also, if you've got a lot of crafty friends, £14.99, take that, you've got three individual gifts there. Uh, costing you five pounds each, which is uh, amazing value for money. Um, hey, do you fancy uh, fancy guiding us through these now? Now, there's so much in the show today, isn't there? I adore these kits. Really fantastic value for money with these kits. And if you're a novice patchworker um, and you haven't been brave enough to have a go yet, this is where you need to start because it really is. You get beautiful results with these gorgeous little coasters. You can see. You see, I've got my my mug in its little co oh, oh oh let me show you there my mug in its little cozy there looks gorgeous with my tea in um and then i've got my little mug rug as well which is fantastic so place for your cup here and your biscuits or your piece of battenberg as is my oh. particular um fetish at the moment so fetish. All fetish i don't think that's the right word but you know <laughs> definitely not the um what's the sticks word? and stones may break my bones but cakes and buns excite me oh, well uh, lovely thank you but I mean, what is it if i'm just eating a lot of bat um, addiction addiction that's not a the, fetish not a fetish fetish is something completely that's different completely different <laughs> anyway in your kit you get everything you need so you've got this lovely little box and then i've already started my mug rug here but i'm going to explain to you what i've done you've got all of your instructions and this is really important so you can see here you've got Tip, top tips, use a stitch length of three millimetres. Let me change that. That's lovely. I've done that. Use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Okay, I will. Instructions. Uh, unless it tells you otherwise. Okay, I've noted it. Tells you what you need, which is just a basic sewing kit. You need your machine, etc., etc. A bit of thread and you're away. And then it tells you everything to do step by step. And it's very, very simple. Let me show you how that goes. So inside, first things first, you get your wadding. And your wadding has all of the numbers printed on. Now, actually, 
I'm just going to open another kit and show you because I want to show you this. Your fabric, let's have a look at the other kit first because you might be wondering. So I'm going to show you this one and then we'll have a look at where I've started. So inside you get your piece of printed fabric. Here we are. So they're all of the pieces that you need for this project already printed and numbered on your fabric for you. So you can see here centre squares number one, number one, number one, we've got number two, the corners, three, four, everything is numbered on here, these are the coaster backings. So you've got your fabric printed with the designs and the instructions. You also get your piece of wadding. So this is the wadding for my coasters. So actually what I would do is take my scissors which I've put to either half, hid them under me, I hid them under me mug rug, um, with your backing, and it's a really good quality. It's all, it's actually, don't think of this as a quilt backing fleece. This is more like a thick felt. This is like a really fantastic, kind of heat resistant, thick wadge of felt, rather than like the thin quilt backing that you would get, or wadding. It's fantastic. Uh, and you're going to use your scissors and cut through the shapes that you need from your wadding. Just cut it out. Okay, so you've got that. You've got your instructions and you're ready to go. So you cut out all of your pieces of wadding. You cut out all of your pieces of fabric. Get your instructions and you're off. Could not be more simple. Once you've done that, you're going to get what I've got here. And this is my piece of felt wadding. And I've already started to do my quilt as my, as my quilt as I go here. And then I've got all of the, um, the numbers to follow on. So what I've done here is this was number two, you can see. This was number three. This was number four. And this is number five that I'm going to put on, which then means that that was number one. So you lay it on and then you put your other pieces on top, stitch your quarter of an inch. And when you fold it back, you get that brilliant quilt as you go effect, which means that your stitching is immediately attached to your wadding backing where you're not having to stitch all of the pieces separately and then try and join them. It makes it so much easier for a beginner patchworker and quilter, Joe, this quilt as you go method. It's fantastic. I'm just going to reach up and grab my ironing board because I do like to press as I go. Right, so first things first, I need to find my little pieces. Where's my triangle? Here it is. And you see I've got number five. Can you see that there? Bring it up to you. Number five, printed on the fabric. It's great number that it's got the numbers oh, on the fabric. I mean, I mean you just, really can't go wrong, can you? you? Can't, it really, it's like painting by numbers, yeah. quilting by numbers, patchworking by numbers. It's fantastic. So number five goes on number five. So it's right sides together. So right side to right side, just up to the edge there. You can see that there. And then I'm going to stop stitching on this line here. So not all the way down to the triangle. I'm going to pick this up so you can see it again. So you see how I've got this vertical line running down here. When I stitch, I'll start at this vertical line here, all the way down, but I'll stop here. I don't want to stitch into this bit, because if I stitch into this bit, it's going to hold that too still when I want to put my next bit on top. Is everybody clear on that? Okay, right, great. It will cover that in the instructions for you. So then I just take it off. You can pin it if you want to. I'm not going to bother with pinning today. I'm just going to do my stitching um, for speed, Joe, and I've adjusted my stitch to the three um, three length that it recommended in the instructions. Fabulous. Uh, Carol's just asking me uh, about my chest size, uh, which is a very personal question, what? I think, Carol. Uh, but Carol wants to do something. She's asking if anyone else in the group they know my chest size. I would hope not, Carol. Can you imagine? Well, how would everyone else in the group know my uh, chest size? I would say. I'm an XL, so I reckon I'm probably a 44 to a 46 chest. What would you say, Leanne? I would say 44. 44, yeah. yeah. I was going to say 44, 46. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there you go, Carol. Oh, I wonder what you're plotting, Carol. I'm very excited. Someone else the other day said they were going to make me, because obviously there's no Christmas jumpers at the moment, Leanne. I'm going to be launching Christmas next month. So you can't buy any. Someone's going to make me a Christmas jumper. How fabulous oh, is that? Oh, my word. That's I fantastic. Know. You guys are spoiling me. <gasps> Look what Anna sent in. Oh my word, look at that. That is absolutely fabulous. Oh, it's a little essential health worker bear. Oh, and it's that's tiny, amazing. it's three centimetres <gasps> by two and a half. Oh, he is tiny. It's tiny. I think that's three inches though, George. That was yesterday we called Anna Anna. It's I actually Anna. Anna sends loads of fabulous photos in for us. That is beautiful. Thank you, Anna. However, that's a three inch bear. 
Not a three centimetre bear. Three inch bear, was it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I said it was a three centimetre bear. <laughs> that would be, oh, that'd be really little, it would wouldn't be it? Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, three inch bear. do you remember, um, do you remember that guy that used to make, like, mini landmarks and they were, like, the size of the eye of a needle? Do you ever remember that? Yes. Did anyone see that? That was incredible. Now, did you see what I did there? I did the stitch across and you see, and I was just showing you with my thing and then I fold that back and I just press that in place and that's already done beautifully. Then I take my next piece, so number six. So looking for number, oh, there's number six. That was lucky. That was fortuitous. Number six goes right side to right side and it goes down that vertical line again. And you can see it's coming over a little bit of my number five there. Doesn't matter because that's all going to be in the seam allowance as long as I'm following the line. You can trim it away if you want to. I haven't got time, so I'm not going to bother. And I can see that I've got that in the right place because I'm following the line from below there. And then I'm just going to stitch down here with my... Um, three millimeter stitch again okay wonderful uh, loads of questions uh, sorry loads of comments still coming in as well loads of people saying how adorable your little uh, uh, frontline worker bear was there how precious uh, says Ray uh, Janet says um, oh Janet says I'm new to the Gemini system could you please go over putting the plates together as I am sure I'm doing it wrong do you know what? Should we do that in our? Should we try and do that in our four o'clock show? Is, yeah. is that all right, Leanne? Of course, yeah. So my, myself and Leanne are here at four p.m. this afternoon in the UK. Or that'll be eleven a.m. East Coast for the launch party. My, my, my! What a show we've got for you later. There is so much amazing stuff uh, on that. We've got a brand new launch. Some very sparkly. Uh, inks. Um, I need to let you know the A1 folder, a fifth of the stock has gone of that. Um, so, oh, I'm still, I'm still desperate to know what Carol's got planned. Um, so, uh, very busy. Make sure you join us for the show later. Don't forget as well um, that there's a new show. Well, it, we haven't brought it to you for a while, but the Craft House, which is something that we used to do a little while ago, is back and it is back in a big way because we're bringing it back. We're bringing it back every Friday from four until six here on Crafters TV. So it means that it's all, a, it's gonna be like a pie. It's gonna be our way of sort of easing you into the weekend, uh, if you will. And it means that we're gonna be inviting loads of our crafty friends in. So uh, on Friday, we're starting off with uh, Hunky Dory, uh, which is a fabulous brand of products that we stock at the moment on our website. They do wonderful um, card making kits and great uh, sort of blingy bits for your cards as well. Um, so they'll be here on Friday. I'll be here. Uh, Sarah will be here and also uh, in weeks coming we will be um, Skyping some of you guys in to join us as well uh, during the show too. We're going to give that a try which is fantastic. Uh, also um, it was Janet wasn't it about the um, plates. You could also go over to our website and uh, you'll find some tutorials on plate combinations over on our website. Loads of information um, there. Uh, <laughs> Carol says, I hope I don't fall asleep like yesterday. Fell asleep after the masterclass and woke up at 8.30 p.m. Oh, dear. That's like a six-hour nap. That is an epic nap, Carol. That is. Um, can, Joe, can I just tell everybody <laughs> the mistake I made while you were chatting there? Because you were watching me and I made a mistake. And I just want to tell you what I did to fix it. And then I'll shut up, Joe. Um, <laughs> so, you see, and, and you know what? I think you'll probably do this at home as well. And I want to just stop and share it with you in case it happens. Notice how I'm working along here. And I was working along, working along. And then I'm like, oh, number eight. And I've got number eight. And I went like that. And I put my number eight fabric on my number eight line between eight and nine there. But that's wrong. Because then when you open it up, you've got a gap. So I unpicked it. So just be careful when you're doing that, because that was a little mistake I made if you get these home. So actually, just make sure you're always doing right. So this is number eight fabric, but actually it's getting laying on top of number seven fabric so I can still see number eight there. Because actually number eight fabric, when I fold it over, will cover the number eight square. Does that make sense? Makes sense. Sorry, indeed. Joe, I just wanted to tell everybody what I'd done uh, wrong while you were chatting. Mm. Uh, yeah, it does make uh, it does make um, loads of uh, sense. So it's, I mean, we don't even work together anymore. Someone has emailed in. Who was it? Come on, name and shame them. Lynn. Oh, I reckon. Lynn Strawbridge has emailed in and said hello, Leanne and Dan. <laughs> We don't even work for the same no. channel anymore. <laughs> uh, Dan is, of course, the lovely Dan Bancroft, who works on Creating Craft. Looks a lot like me. His beard isn't as good as mine, but he's a lot more buff than I am. 
uh, and his hairline's not so good as well. But don't tell him I said the last bit. Uh, but we are we're really good friends. Uh, but yeah, everyone would confuse us when we worked at Crate and Craft together. And now it appears that people think uh, we're not even on the same network anymore. Uh, I'll let him know that. He, we'll have a little titter about that. Were you just winding me up, Lynn? Is that what you were trying to do? Well, I have a feeling you might have been. Uh, I need to let you know a fifth of the stock of these fabricates I have now sold out and gone. Very busy on those. Very busy on the rulers. Remember the great deal on the rulers? Twenty nine ninety nine to get you both of those. Uh, then do remember that. That's a great deal. Uh, so you can get both the folding rulers. Oh, the cutting mats too. Really busy. Uh, on those cutting mats. You've got the A1 there, you've got the A2 uh, available for you as well. There's a little bit, I'll tell you what I've loved about this show, Leanne, there's yeah. a little bit of everything. There's some core tools, yeah. there's some uh, kits, we've got some sewing, we've got some crochet, we've got some die cutting as well. We've got a bit of everything, haven't we? We've got a bit of everything, Joe. And the thing I love as well is that actually all of the things that you're using work together brilliantly. Because look, I'm using my folding mat. I've just done my quilt as, my quilt as you go. Um, I finished putting those on as you were chatting there. And now what I'm going to do is trim this so that I can sew it together nicely. Because you get the bits of fabric, you get it bigger than the wadding. So you've got room for error. So actually when I turn this over, you can see I've got all my little raggy bits at the back. So using my ruler, and the thing I love about these folding rulers, see, I don't need a 24 inch ruler for this so actually i only fold it out i've still got my other two pieces here that i could fold oh, out but i don't need to so i just use it as a small ruler um and so it's really convenient then because i just line that up against the wadding edge i'm using my rotary trimmer and that's really precise look and it's beautiful because i square up all of these edges so that my mug rug is gorgeous snug as a mug in a snug mug rug uh, $24.99 or $39.95 if you want to go for the rotary cutter. And it is a great quality rotary cutter, that, isn't it, Leanne? It is absolutely high-end, precision, excellent quality. And I honestly believe the quality of that blade in there, and you get those replacement blades as well, when you've tried this, you will not want to use any other rotary cutter. It is truly exceptional. And the fact that it can be left-sided, left-handed or right-handed by changing that blade is fantastic for lefties and righties. Um, right. A fifth of the stock has gone on that rotary cutter, by the way. And we obviously have a lot of them. It's a, a site-wide stock, so very busy. A lot of you having uh, gone for that one. So now I've trimmed it. I've used my ruler and my rotary cutter. I've got it all trimmed now to the beautiful square. And so then all I do now is take my backing fabric, which comes, and I've cut that out as well. I lie that face-to-face -face on top. And then I do a straight stitch all the way around, but I leave myself a gap for turning it inside out. Wonderful. Down here. Do you know the bit that confuses me with sewing is the yeah. getting the right sides together and that you sew because you sew it, you kind of sew it all almost back to front, don't you? Or the wrong way round. Does that make sense? It does make sense. Now, look, I just want to point something out. It, it's a bit scary at first. You're like, well, how on earth is that going to happen? But it does. It's just like magic. I'm lining my backing fabric up here, and I can see, look, that actually it's a little bit shorter than the actual mug rug because they give you margin for error when you're doing that so if you trim it down um you haven't made any tragic mistakes so what i'm actually going to do because i i'm all about precision uh, which is why i love my ruler and my rotary trimmer i'm going to line up my backing fabric there and then i'm going to trim the bottom off there so now my two pieces are the perfect size and i'm just going to stitch around all four edges and i'm going to leave a gap on the long edge jaw so i can turn it inside out how fabulous. Uh, now, whilst you're, have, how long have I got whilst you're doing that? About two minutes. Oh, should we have a little bit? Should, we, should I give you a bit of a recap then with some, uh, some pictures and some products that you guys have loved uh, so far? Very busy. Lots of you still commenting away. Lynn saying, oh, I think I might just have to get myself one of those folding rulers. I don't think that'd be a bad idea, Lynn. I really, really don't. Uh, now, uh, here is the Fred's A1 uh, folding cutting mat for you. Uh, half price. Uh, well, it's just under half price, in fact. Uh, $24.99 or $27.48 there. Uh, we've also got the, the A2 for you. Now, the A2 is half price. £14.99 and $14.99 is your price there. All oh, that fabulous rotary cutter. Leanne, I was going to say she loves it, but I'm going to go as far as say she's obsessed with it. Uh, $24.99 or $39.95, you get the rotary cutter. We're also going to throw in as well uh, those uh, replacement blades there for you too. 
Uh, now, 30% uh, of our Fabricate bundles have gone. Remember, you are getting the uh, mug cozy, the mug rug, and the coasters for you there as well. So you get all three of those, $14.99 or $20.99. Now, uh, the nesting dies, uh, these were very busy. Uh, you saw uh, Leanne use these to uh, create a gorgeous uh, little applique cushion. A third of these have gone. One of those individually, just by the way, should be £24.99. You're getting three of them for £30. Shows you the value that you have there. Uh, we've then got uh, that sunrise special that the lovely John Scott shared with us. Half the stock of this has sold out and gone. £22.48 uh, is a half price deal. Uh, and his sunrise specials are John's often, uh, very often, uh, sell out. So great to be able to get those uh, whilst they are there in stock. Uh, oh, don't forget to pick a winner for Leanne's cushion cover, is what Lynn's letting me know. Shall I do that now? Shall I do it now, Leanne? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Were you talking to me? Yes. I was having a nice time. In you, I think um, what is is, I think you're very alert when we paper craft together. Yes. I think you zone out a little bit when I you're do doing your stitching and your uh, sewing. Yes. You're in your happy place, aren't you? T totally in my happy place. <laughs> yes, let's pick a winner now, Joe. Okay, so the winner is going to be... Be... Oh, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Stop. Oh, it's Lynn Harvey. <laughs> uh, and it was uh, Lynn uh, who actually just said, can you please uh, remember to pick a winner? So you did well, Lynn. Uh, it wasn't the same comment. It was one the much further back in the chain. Right, so how are we going to get um, Lynn's details from her? She's going to have to... Email prizes. Good one. At crafterscompanion.com. Prizes at crafterscompanion.com. Let them know uh, what it was that you won, uh, and we will uh, get. <laughs> Lynn, the other Lynn. Uh, that's what we've got. So we've got Lynn Harvey now, and we've got the other Lynn uh, as emailed apologising for calling me Dan. Did she actually mean it though, or was she winding me up? Sorry, Dan, I mean Joe. <laughs> uh, okay, thank you for that, uh, Lynn. Uh, all the lulls we're having today. Um, she's been making the mug rug. She sent us in a picture, but we're nearly out of time, so we haven't got time to show you the picture, unfortunately. Maybe we'll save it for next week and share it with you then. Oh, ooh, what have we got? Oh, there's an exciting show, isn't there, for us uh, later today, Leanne? Absolutely, um, there is. The decoupage stuff that's on there. Oh, my, I'm so busy when we brought it to you. But there's loads of great stuff coming up, isn't there? Oh, absolutely amazing, great stuff coming up. Um, and, you know, we're going to leave it all as surprises for tonight. I mean, there's just some amazing, some sparkle links, I think, on there as well. There is some there? sparkle links on there, um, some decoupage bits as well. Yes, oh, it's going to be, be great. it's going to be amazing. Really, it is. Now, here, here is my mug rug almost finished. See, what I need to do is just poke these out. If you've got a um, chopstick or a little bamboo stick, don't use your scissors at home. You just ease your little edges out. And then once that's done, what I do is I just fold this in, that side and that side, and press it and then top stitch all around and when you've done that you end up with your fabulous little mug rug oh absolutely you do it and it looks beautiful now i'm just doing a little i'm just showing you the sounds really can you hear that sounds really satisfying when you uh when you shake it uh, it's the fabric coat if you want to see a full demonstration on the fabric coat then you can uh, uh sarah did do some demos on it two or three weeks ago i think but would you fancy just giving us a little sound bite on this leanne and just letting us know well, what we're able to do with it because uh, it's great isn't it it is amazing and i'm devastated that i didn't get a chance to show you because actually this was the thing i was looking forward to most um softer side really but what i think i'll do is on sunday so you know on sundays um i've been doing some facebook lives to show people oh yeah things i think this sunday we might do the fabric coat amazing because i'm devastated that i didn't get a chance to show you and it's truly fabulous now fabric coat actually um i'm proud and privileged to say was my idea really yes so wow. i'm a manufacturer who makes fabric coat um, we were just chatting one day to show and I said, you know, I was loving working with oil cloths and I said, you know, but the thing is I can't get nice patterned oil cloths. I want to use my beautiful fabrics I've got at home and I want that to be waterproof. Wouldn't it be amazing if there was something we could put on fabric to make that happen? Their chemists went off and made this and oh my word, it fulfilled every single one of my dreams and more. It truly is amazing. So it's like a liquid glue which seals your fabric. You put it on in layers 
you take it out with a spatula actually i prefer to use an old store card just scrape it on and let it dry and depending on the effect you want you build up the layers if you want something more like an oil cloth and there's a difference between these two i'll show you here's an apron here's a bib if you want something that's just kind of splash proof rub proof two coats. If you want something that's really kind of waterproof, the cushions the lady was asking about for her patio, which is what I'm doing, um, then you'd want four coats. Let it dry between each coat. But look, oil cloth that you buy, you can't do this with. Um, and you can with this. It's really soft. And for a mib, a mib, a bib even, it's really soft and malleable. It's beautiful, but it's got that lovely waterproof coating on there. There's nothing rough about that for the baby. Just with the matching cotton back, glorious. But it's all the food and the spaghetti bolognese will all just go off there. The apron, you know, for little crafty sessions at home for yourself or for the little ones. Do it with your lovely fabric coated fabric. It's just amazing. Little lunch bags. So let's all be eco-friendly, make ourselves a little lunch bag, line it with that, um, you know, that silver back wadding stuff you've got. This has got four coats on. It's got a lovely shine to it, but very easy to stitch still. This is just making the equivalent of a little, um, a little um, oil cloth bag. And here, wipeable placemats. Oh. Lady who's making cushions, wipeable placemats. For your tables when you're having a barbecue or when you've got the kids as well, a little place for your knife and fork. I mean, so many different things you can do. And it's a glue. You can do a plique with it. I'm going to stop talking. Ooh. I'll do a live with it next Sunday. Uh, it's half price. Normally, you get, you'd say uh, you get one for $14.99. Uh, today, in this configuration, you get both of those, $14.99. It's always been very busy whenever we've shown it to you uh, previously. Leanne, can I say it's been an absolute uh, pleasure to spend uh, a Tuesday morning in the sewing room with you. I think they might let us do it again, you know. I think we were pretty well behaved and... Uh, it was very busy, so there's no reason they shouldn't let us do it again, I think. Oh, do you know, Joe, please can we write an email for permission? Yes. Because I've had such a lovely time. Um, because actually, this is what I do in my own time. This is my passion. When I'm crafting at home, it's all things soft. Um, and I really have thoroughly enjoyed my time here this morning with you, Joe. Even though I made a couple of little errors, nobody seen them. <laughs> no one knew. I mean, I couldn't. Matter, does it? I, I couldn't. Like email. I couldn't even pronounce any words for the first <laughs> 15, 20 minutes. So we got there together in the end. Now remember, very busy. Make sure you check out your baskets over on the website uh, because obviously it's not yours until you grab it. Uh, we'll see you back here in three hours. Uh, myself uh, and Leanne uh, will be here for the launch party. Uh, so we'll see you back here then. Uh, take care. Yeah.